hair looks like a mess. Uh, but, uh, yeah, hey, guys. Um, so my last stream just died um, because my phone died. Um, and now, uh, yeah, I uh, can't go over there to do more stuff until my phone recharges a little bit more. Maybe I should have waited longer to, st to start the stream. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But, yeah, um, I don't know. Anyone here yet? <laughs> Maybe I should wait till people show up and start saying stuff to do stuff. Devil Eye says, okay, sweet. Via says, is this part two? Yes, it is. Um, my phone died for part one. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to do more of that here during, during part two. Devil Eye says, I'm here. Sweet. Um, okay. So yeah. Um, ideally, let, wait, let me see. What is the, um, hold on. Um, yeah, so we are at 7% battery. Um, I don't know if I can safely go over there. Like, will my phone die by the time I get there? I don't know. Maybe I could bring the, uh, the, uh, phone cord with me. I don't know. Do you, do we think we're going to die if we get there? What do you, what, what do you think guys? Via says, oh no, I know. Right. I came back then. I was like, what happened to stream? I know my phone died. Uh, Via says, ideally, Zach will be cleaning his room. Yeah, ideally, not gonna happen. <laughs> never, never. And Starry says, part two, electric boogaloo. Yes, I, I, I should, I should actually retitle the stream that. And Starry says, maybe think about the risks and rewards. Well, I mean, we kind of don't really have a choice, right? I mean, if I don't do that, I'm not gonna have a stream, right? Like, I mean, I could just sit here and talk to you guys for the next, like, half hour until it records. But you guys are going to be bored by that, probably. So, DevY says iPhone battery goes down really fast. Yeah, yeah. When you're doing something, it does. I mean, if you're not doing anything, it lasts, like, you know, forever. But, and Story says, if it dies on the bright side, part three coming up. <laughs> true that. That is very true. Okay, yeah, let's try it. Let's try it. Of course, I'm going to have to remember to replug this later. All right, you guys, here we go. Ugh. Oh no, the cord is stuck. Ah! What is it stuck on? It's stuck on other wires. Oh, it's so tangled. Okay, we got it. <laughs> and Story says, hang in there, phone. All right. All right. Can we successfully plug this in? Is this going to happen? This gonna work? All right, here we go. There we go. Wait, is that actually plugged in? Is it getting electricity from that? Let me, let me check. Okay, so I think we are good. I think we made it, you guys. I'm gonna actually turn on the light, so. There we go. So this stuff is gonna be a little bit more visible, hopefully, I mean, you know, that's the dream, right? There we go. And we're back. Back with all my millions of piles of papers. <laughs> if I could donate a battery, I would. Thanks, DevY. And Starry's like... Zoo, 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 zoo. Lots of electricity going on here. DevY says Sonic Activist can do it in seconds. Can he? Okay, so what do we got here? Uh, interesting. Oh, this is Lifeline Screening Radiology. Dear Daphne, oh, that's for that's a Kurt's mom. I have I have no idea what why this is here or why it's in my PCD folder. That's weird. Um, okay, so that goes in the junk pile. Uh, where was the junk pile again? Dang it. <laughs> I'll put it over here. That's that's gonna be the junk pile. Okay. Um, we've got an inventory screen over here. Um, I don't know what that's for. Hold on a second. I'm doing a live stream right now. It's okay. Uh, 
Uh, so yeah, um, oh, this is, right, this is the Balzac Lobotron stuff, so I'm gonna put this on top of the Balzac Lobotron script, okay. Devil Eyes says, part three is gonna be him cleaning the PCGs. You know it. Oh, shoot, <laughs> another sphere child. Sketchy Penguin says, who is that? That was my mom. <laughs> Um, Sketchy Penguin says, oh wait, I read that already. Rulezak Lobotron, Sphere Child number 0007. And like, unlike Balzac Lobotron, he doesn't have arms. He's just like, you know, a unicycle kind of almost. I don't know. He's, he's, he's only got one. And Starry says, imagine being organized, SMH. <laughs> oh, I'm not. <laughs> We're getting organized right now. <laughs> We are definitely not organized. I'm going to put that with odds and ends. Um, let's see what we got here. Ooh. Police headquarters. I think, was this part of a PCG? I think, I think this is for, yeah, I think this was for a planned sequel to the Molman PCGs, but I never finished that. Um... This is like an attempt at drawing a screen from Balzac Lobotron. Um, it's just Ginkus and Balzac standing there, but I redrew that screen. Like a redrawn version of that made it into the game. <laughs> Here's an early, um, an early version of me of like concept art for Balzac. Like, yeah, like I, I like this was my like working out what he looked like, and I was wrote needs to be smaller. And I was correct. This sphere was way too big, so I redrew that to be smaller. And this sphere in the middle got bigger. So this is, you know, an early, early version of what Balzac would end up looking like. Let's put that in our Balzac pile. Looks like we're going to have more for the Balzac pile. Another concept art. Like, you know, here we go. The sphere got smaller. This one got a little bit bigger. And I was like, let's see what notes I'm writing for myself. Need to find a good eye effect. <laughs> I think I just gave up on the eye effect. I wanted to have like sort of like red mist like rising up out of his eyes, but I couldn't get it, get that to look good. I tried a bunch of attempts. Here's the only one where he's wearing a hat, like in the first picture of him, but um, hat got lost to time. Um, but yeah. Um, let's see yet another one. Now we've got, like, this sphere got a lot bigger, but it says the bigness doesn't work here, so this is going to get smaller again. The eyes are closer, but need to lose the Keanu effect. <laughs> I don't know why this looked like Keanu Reeves to me for some reason. His hand is way too big, but hands way too big. Could, could be improved more. Uh, remember, this is the main ball, so this should be the biggest one. Yeah, so I'm just right, like improving his character model again and again and again, refining it. This was this um, was an early concept art for one of the screens in Balzac Lobotron. Man, I really worked everything out. I made concept arts and everything. This is crazy. That's <laughs> just slow how needs to get rid of the Keanu effect. I know, right? <laughs> Um, but yeah, there is a f version of this that made it as a script, but yeah, it's like you're, you're escaping from this mothership on this, like, smaller craft. Like, make this more prominent, better look, well, obviously make it better looking, why am I, <laughs> as if I forgot that good looking art is a good thing. <laughs> Alright, I'll put that in the Balzac folder, uh, pile, I mean, it keeps, yeah, that's an improvement getting like getting there and th it says this part looks worse than the first is that true do i agree with that let's compare them side by side um yeah i think this first version looks better without all the scratchiness um an early version of Johnson from Balzac Lobotron. A 
By the way, who's still there? I, it says one person watching. I, I'm curious who it is. Assuming, like, it's the numbers aren't lying to me. Let's see. I tried coloring it in, but that didn't work. Oh, hey, it's you, Anstari. Well, thanks for sticking around. Um, yeah, yeah, so. I gave up on the color version. The final version doesn't have any color. I don't know why I redrew this so, so many times. Like, you know, I shouldn't be such a perfectionist about PCG art. It's just a PCG. Um, Sketchy Penguin says I'm back. Sweet, welcome back, Sketchy Penguin. This is Ari and Cassie. I think this was like for fried calamari, but whatever. I'll throw it in with the Balzac pile. For me, it says zero viewers. <laughs> well, that can't be true. Oh, shoot. Here's the big boom ship from, uh, from Sketchy Penguin. It says, don't worry about it, Zach. I think everyone in the PCG community can admit they're perfectionists when it comes to art. That is true. That that is very true, Sketchy Penguin. Um, which kind of sucks. It's like it's like, you know, we could get so much more PCG stuff out there if we weren't perfectionists. Oh man, bye Dev Y. Thanks for joining. Um, but yeah, um, this ship like this ship is um, it's called the Big Boom. It's from a a movie series we made when we were little kids. Um, uh, that was just called the big boom and it was made by taking like a paper cup and putting a toothpick in the front of it. And then these wings are made by cutting up paper plates. <laughs> that's why I says it was fun. Part three of you cleaning. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Um, but yeah, my point in this is that this ship is now available in Balzac Globetron. Like, it's a secret, but you can find it, and you can, and you, can you know, take control of the ship, and it can join your fleet in Balzac Globetron. So that was, like, concept art of it. Um, concept art of Zuvac. Concept art of... Well, this is really early concept art. This is like, it says Jim, question mark. Jim was the original name before it had a name for Balzac Lobotron. Um, so yeah, originally he was going to be called Jim. This is, it says enemy thing, but I was using old English letters because cause I'm rude. Um, like, yeah, that's just a concept for an enemy creature, a jellyfish thing. This thing, I think this is the only thing, one of these enemies that actually made it into the game. Like, this giant space whale, and it's, like, about to eat your ship. Like, that is actually a screen in Balzac Lobotron, but obviously a much more refined version. Then we've got, um... These, um... Let's see, we've got... This is a character guide for Balzac Lobotron. Zuvac. Once the puppet of an evil organization, this clown on a stick has become the defender of goodness. However, he's missing. <laughs> and Starry says, we have Jim, enemy thing, jellyfish thing, and last but not least, thing. <laughs> uh, I certainly could uh, name him, couldn't I? <laughs> We've got Philby the Robot. The latest technology, Intel Pentium 4 process. Oh my god. Pentium 4. Uh, what a throwback. 5800 megahertz, 4.3 gig no, 45.3 gigabytes. Wow, I thought that was a lot back then and now I have like a hard drive with like a terabyte on it. <laughs> so this was supposed to be all future and like super advanced, but the capacity to vaporize unwanted spam and aliens, <laughs> of course. Johnson, this poor engineer lost the use of his arms due to a di horrible disease he's developed, but he's developed the ability to peck buttons with extreme speed with his nose. So he just like, he can't, he has all these arms, but he can't use them. He can only peck buttons with his nose. That's Johnson. That did make it into the game. This is like getting closer to the final game because these are like actually who the characters are. And story says, 
why 0.3 gigabytes on that? Why not 45? Specifically, you want 0 0.3 more gigabytes. <laughs> Dude, Thux is his name. Rescued a few months ago, Chennai was until recently horribly abused by the Croden, who reign over his world, Zorelta. No, his world is called Shri. Zorelta is his country. He hopes to one day liberate his people. And then here's Bob. No one knows what race this little guy is from. When the crew discovered the ship, Bob was already aboard. He won't tell of his real name or about the previous crew of the ship. The crew member affectionately calling him Bob. So, but, like, yeah, he's a shapeshifter, so these are some of the various forms he can take on. Um, as, as I develop the game, I mean, he's still technically, like, canonically, he's still a shapeshifter, but I, I downplayed that in the actual game, so... I may I, I didn't use any of these forms or I like this is his true form like that's the only form you basically see him as and occasionally you can see him as this form and that's it only those two appeared in the final game um yeah and sorry says the first bob form looks like a turtle it does look like a turtle doesn't it <laughs> you would know uh, and starry you are kind of like the turtle expert or is it Turtle Eater? I'm sorry, I apologize. Was this making you hungry? <laughs> should, I, should I not have shown that? I apologize. Um, okay, okay, enough of that. Um, here's the floor plan of the alien spaceship. And Starry says, Bob equals turtle? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, certainly he has a turtle form. You know, I don't know. Maybe you could... Uh, Maybe you could make a PCG or a paper game to uh, flesh out the turtley adventures of Bob, you know? I don't know. <laughs> Sansar says, hmm, I don't know, Zach. Maybe you want to think about some soup. Oh, no. That's a low blow. That's a low blow. How dare you, sir? <laughs> um, but, yeah, this is, like, the alien spaceship. This is a whole area in Balzac Lobotron. Like, in, in the game, it's actual screens, but I made a, like, um... A floor plan so I would know how everything connects to each other. Um, another attempt at the cover, and I gave up on it super fast. Is this just paper? No. No, there's... Uh, um, let's see it. More attempts at the cover. More attempts at the cover. More, <laughs> more attempts at the cover. More attempts at the cover. I kind of like that one. More attempts at the cover. More attempts at the cover. Let's see. What else we got? Oh, it looks like an early version of Matak. I was just messing around with some perspective. This is like the part of the alien uh, ship that you have to explore in the game. This was like hand-drawn, but then I took it and upgraded it digitally. More concept art for a ship. And more concept art for engineering. <laughs> and sorry, five days later. And more attempts of the cover, more attempts of the cover, more attempts of the cover, more attempts of the cover. <laughs> Accurate. <laughs> I'm just going to skip through all that concept art. We've got, like, here's a copy of that letter I showed earlier. Is the entire rest of this puzzle, of, of this pile, uh, just more Balzac Globetron stuff? Yep. There's me. Uh, yeah, that's from one of the, a screen of Balzac Globetron. Some creatures. I can't possibly show ever. All right. We're just going to, we're just going to put, like, like on mass, put all of this in the in the Balzac Lobotron and Balzac Lobotron pile. I think I think we've had enough Balzac Lobotron uh, concept art for one stream, wouldn't you say? Whoo! All right, so let's get some more stuff from the. Uh, from the uh, place. 
Um, let's see, this is just some random art. Young Link and Old Link, drawn by Kurt. I don't think this is actually concept art for a PCG, but he did make a Zelda PCG, so... I don't know, I guess this kind of counts. <laughs> um, and here is... Um, Link drawn by Pierre. This is actually on the PCG Wiki article about Link. So this is pretty cool. I think we're just going to put all this stuff in the... Um, in the other people folder. Is anyone still there, by the way? I, I always think these numbers are lying to me. And sorry, says, whoa, that link looks really good. Yeah, Pierre's art is really solid. Is, is, she's, she really knows what she's talking about. If you want a better version of this, just go to link on the PCG wiki and it, 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 it's other people pile. Okay. Um, so yeah, what are we left with? Why don't I have a random, like, uh, do you know Jesus? This is, like, a pamphlet somebody gave me on the street one time. I don't know why. I'm not, I'm not like, I don't know why I still have it. I'm, 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 I'm not, like, super religious or anything. It's just, uh, I guess it's just, like, people hand me stuff and it ends up places. What can I say? Um, ooh, this is a skirt by Kurt. I think this is, like, the main character from Spaceballs. So I'll put this in the category of other people's stuff for now. And what else we got? What's this? Let's see. What is this? Quentin Shalek slash Archangel Mesri. And there's, like, stats for it. I have no idea. This is not my handwriting, so I don't know whose this is or what this is about. I'll just put it in the other people category for now. Um, Sketchy Penguin says, I'm here just doing other things while watching. Sweet. Thank you, sir. Oh. This is actually taped to the drawer. I don't, yeah, should I even remove this? I don't know, <laughs> maybe I'll just leave it where it is for now. Wait, wait, oh my God, oh my God, you guys, I have, is this what I think it is? Oh my God, oh my God. PCG items. Yes! Wait, okay, okay. Let's see what we got. I don't want to spoil this too much because, like, oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I've been looking for this so hard. Like, I, oh my god. I, I was like, this is sort of honestly, like, the one of the purposes of this stream is that by cleaning everything out, it was like my last ditch attempt to find this thing. Reason being because... Like, I had an attempt, like, to, um, like, the game that this is part of, I wanted to put this on the PCG shop. It was going to be the start of my campaign of putting my PCGs on the PCG shop. Because I and I'm like, well, this is the whole point of putting that game on the PCG shop. So I got scratched and I didn't do it. Um, but yeah, uh, this needs, this this exists this is gonna go on the pcg shop in the super near future so i'm not gonna go through each item but <laughs> tutorial bot deluxe yes um so yeah i'm not gonna show all these right now maybe i'll do another video after i um put this stuff up on the pcg shop but i am so excited to find these pcg items this is gonna be a thing um yes and sorry says uh, how neat would you describe your handwriting? One to ten, because it looks like a spawn of Satan. Uh, oh, one being it looks like a spawn of Satan, and ten being perfect font. I would go for like maybe a zero point five. Is a spawn of Satan? Maybe I'll go for one point five. It's not a hundred percent a spawn of Satan. Like it's you can you can read it. <laughs> You you won't you won't go blind if you read it and if it, I feel like if it were a spawn of Satan you probably would, 
But, uh, yeah. Oh, shoot, there's, like, a Green Lantern ring in here? Dude, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, yes. Sketchy Penguin says, personally, my handwriting is, like, a five or a six. Sweet. That's good handwriting right there. I'm so happy I found this. This is exciting. D-game. That's what I was calling myself for a while. That's uh, just a connection to PCG. I don't think I need some kind of, like, a weird screen name or whatever. Um, Compact says... Uh, when it says it's 5, there are days when it's 9.5. <laughs> and Starry says, looks at my own handwriting. Ah, my cornea dies. <laughs> uh, that'd be a good thing to research. You know, how many people have died just by looking at their own handwriting? <laughs> Accidental handwriting inflicted deaths. <laughs> yeah, thick markers make your handwriting way neater. Do they? They make my handwriting way worse. Um, what, what folder? I think, I think this is going to be its own pile for now. And what are we left with? Um, okay, so we got this. This is just a big folder of Pierre's stuff, like, I, th I think. This is just all... This is, like... Yeah, all this stuff connected to her PCG exile screens artwork character sheets just everything pierre p G. the umbrians from the game everything pierre pdg is in here so that is super cool um i started trying to upload her games to the shop as well this is up there but i haven't gotten the remake regenesis or exile i'll put this in the other people pile and is there anything left? Make me a zombie. <laughs> uh, that's just an ad, I guess. I don't know why that's in here. And we've got this random piece of paper. I don't know what that's about. And then, ooh, look at this guy. Ah! He's an alien on a toothpick. Um, I think this was supposed to be part of a PCG. Um, possibly Balzac Lobotron. They were, like, went through uh, stickers on toothpicks era for Balzac Lobotron. So I guess I'll just put this in the uh, Balzac Lobotron uh, pile. And we're done. That is the uh, folder. So, yeah. Oh, we've got some PCG stickers on the front of it. Um, we've got... Um, We've got, this is a space ball, like, ripping Zach's head off. <laughs> These are stickers by Kurt. Um, you guys, you guys there? You guys see me? Uh, that's the entire focus of their civilization is killing Zach. Over here is um, more characters from Spaceballs, uh, Kurt's PCG. Uh, this is Woop Woop. Uh, he, the most, the unluckiest creature in the universe. It's very hard to keep him alive because he's always tripping over things and dying. These are just various monsters, creatures from the planet Zoniat uh, that all try to kill you. This is a zoo chomper. That became a whole thing. This is a Saigon by, uh, by Keith, I think. Wait, no. No, no, no. These guys weren't Saigons. The other guys were the Saigons. This is something else. But it is definitely by Keith. The, he was in uh, one of the PCGs. Over here we got um, some of the robots by Kurt. We got, this is a Malfoy the Mailbox bot from, you know, the game, Malf Malfoy the Mailbox bot. And the story says, whoa, there was just a huge lag spike. Yeah, I know, I lost connection for a second there for some reason. I don't know why. And then I just clicked reconnect, and it did. So, here we go. Anyway, there, that's, this is a cleaner bot over here. Um, you know, he's a cleaner bot, shaped like a computer mouse for some reason. Um, you guys know who that is, right? <laughs> that's tutorial bot. And over here, we got the head of Killbot, but not his body for some reason. And also, fish bones. Because, you know, that is my name. Or the, that's their nickname for me. I don't remember why. But there you have it. There you have it. Okay. So, what's the next step? What are, what are we doing now? We have completely looked... And Starry says, tutorial bot who? Yeah, I know, right? He's a very obscure character. <laughs> um, see, he's like this robot, and he gives tutorials, but they're bad. You see? 
But yeah, we are done. And now we have covered our um, floor with, uh, with paper computer game stuff. So uh, what do I do now? I don't know. Let's take a vote. Can I, can I actually, can I create a, I guess I can't do that from, um, I can't, I guess I can't create a poll in a phone stream, but yeah. Um, what do you guys think? Should I, uh, should I take these PCGs to their final destination right now? Or should I, Compact says you clean your room. Never, never going to happen. Never. That is going to happen, um, but not right this very second. Z and Starry says, Zach, now time to clean up the room. Contemplates life choices. Actually, maybe I'll do that tomorrow. <laughs> well, I'm definitely not going to do it on stream. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> um, yeah, contemplating life choices. <laughs> um, I mean, if you guys want me to clean up my room on stream, I'll... <laughs> I don't think that would make for very good content. Um, it does need to be cleaned. There is there is some truth to this, but... And Story says procrastination is the best. It certainly has its advantages. <laughs> it certainly has its advantages. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I will wholeheartedly uh, concur with that statement. And Story... All right, so do I have enough charge to actually, um, hold on, let me, let me, let me. So no one wants me to take these PCGs to their final destination? Well, uh, too bad, I'm gonna do it anyway. So that's what I have to say about that. And sorry says, it is the best in the present tense. In future tense, not so much. <laughs> uh, very accurate. Okay, so, um, let's see how this is going to go. Um, okay, so, let's start, let's pick a few folders, and we'll take those, or not folders, piles. Because I can only hold, like, complexes, yeah, move them, all right, all right, we're going to move them. Well, let's take, number one, the other people pile, Number two, uh, I guess Balzac, Bobatron. Hold on, I have to put the phone down for a second. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's just I only have so many hands, you guys. I'm not Matak Roshi Veg. Let's take one more. Let's take, uh, Pokemon Stop. Okay. All right. You guys still with me? Okay. We're going to go on a journey, you guys. We're going to go on a journey. Yeah. And behold, this is my brand new desk, which has come into existence as of today. I actually finished assembling it at like five in the morning. Like I legitimately just like fell asleep at like 8.30 p.m., woke up at 3 a.m. for some reason, and hold on. Yeah. Um, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I woke, I woke up at 3 a.m. for some reason, went down for a glass of water, and I was like, I need to assemble this desk right now, and so I, I just started assembling, and so, yeah, uh, here it is. 
my uh, new desk. I also have, this is the desk that I currently use. This is, you know, the, the computer that I live stream from. This is sort of a new setup. Just got the, the two monitors thing. That is pretty sweet. This is my new PC. I just got that like a few weeks ago. Also pretty sweet. This is like ultra powerful, like very, 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 you know, render heavy. It's a powerful machine. Um, and yeah, this is my desk. Now, the reason I have been saying that this is that this is going to be the last time I'm showing my PCG drawer is because all this PCG stuff is getting moved into this drawer. And so he says, whoa, I just came back. Did you get a new PC? I did. New PC. I got this like a few a few uh, weeks ago. That, and so he says, I thought you used an Alienware laptop or what, whatever. I did use an Alienware laptop. Uh, the Alienware laptop has been replaced. Now, this is an Alienware, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, not laptop. You know, one of those computers that, you know, aren't on your laptop. Yeah, um, that's what that is. It's a, this is like a, like, this computer is like a monster. It's got, you know, 64 gigs of RAM, Intel i9 processor, like, RTX 3080, whatever, whatever, graphics card. It, 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 it can play some games. I want it to be able to render stuff in Blender. Um, but yeah, I've got like piles of PCG stuff I'd been keeping in a little table that was over here. Um, and now they're just all over the place. Uh, so they're all going to have to get organized into this desk right now. So that's what I'm doing. Compex says you could almost run Crisis on it. <laughs> oh, man. Um, yeah, hearing the specs, I've, wh what are the specs of crisis? I've never, I've, I, I, I'm not even familiar with this. What is this, what is this crisis you speak of? Okay, so that's our Pokemon Stop folder. This is our Balzac Globetron folder. And bear in mind, this is the Balzac Globetron, well, not folder, but, you know, pile. Bear in mind, that's the Balzac Globetron pile, and that's in addition to, um... The actual, like, this this whole black case is filled with the actual game of Balzac Globetron. So this whole pile is just the art, like, the concept art and the failed attempts at making screens and just all that stuff. That's what that is. So, yeah. Um, this drawer so far is empty. Um, and... That is going to be my new PCG drawer because it's going to be more organized so it can actually find stuff because look what I've got. <sighs> Giving you the nice like 3D rotational. Whoa. It's file folders. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, what am I going to do with these colors? I should do something in terms of a color scheme. I feel like for Balzac Globetron, I don't know. Well, I can always move them around. Let's put Balzac Globetron in this here blue folder for now. So. And Starry says, wow, I see this not laptop looks pretty not weak. Seems pretty not lame. <laughs> oh, you could say that. <laughs> it's not the not worst. Wait, did I... Was that a... Wait, it's not the worst. Yeah, that's what I should have said. That was a double negative right there. Um, whoops. But, yeah. This is gonna all go in here. I could have all just done this off camera, but, you know, I don't know. Felt like doing it on stream, so that's what's happening. Um... Sketchy Penguin says, remember to like the stream. Oh, thanks, a Sketchy Penguin. Appreciate that. Um, okay, this is going to be the first folder, and it's going to be Balzac Lobotron. So let's... <gasps> Look at that. It fits nicely. I can slide it around. Whoa. Yes. I am so happy with this. Let's put like a little label on that so I know what that is in the future. Um, if 
And Story says, yes, sir. Oh, thank you. You guys are cool. Just cutting up these little pieces of paper so I can put them in weight. Does this fit in here? I think you have to like fold it or something like that. Then it fits. Looks like it's gonna fit. Okay, so let's uh, let's let us take a um, what you call it a um, a righty thing. You know, like one of those things that you write with a righty thing, and like write on this a little bit. How do I hold the phone and do this at the same time? Okay. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, you got to be kidding me. All right. Okay. This pen is going in the garbage. Okay. Um... Gabapo7. Oh, hello. Welcome, Gabapo7. He says, I'm the creator of Super RPG. That's awesome. What is Super RPG? Is it a paper game, a PCG, or RPG, or, or, or what? You know? Okay, so this one gonna... So hard to do while holding the phone. Uh-huh. -huh. There we go. Balls. Wait. Balzac stuff. Okay, so now let us see if we can't insert this into here. I'm sorry, it says, hi, Gabapo7. I agree with this sentiment entirely. Hi, Gabapo7. How do you get this inside? Do you have to, like... Wait. Do you have to, like, put this inside before you... Yeah, maybe you do. I don't know. Hold on. I think I have to put. I have to use both hands for this. Oh wait, I can just do this. Oh, but it's upside down. Let's fix that. Upside down is not the correct way. Right side up is the correct way. Okay, so. I think I need to use both hands. So, okay, hold on a second. Let me... Okay. And behold, our very first folder. Oh, look how cool that looks. It's so exciting that this exists. I know, I'm, this is... Um, not super uh, interesting content. I'm not exactly like, you know, burning the, uh, I don't know. What's the expression I'm looking for? Sketchy Penguin says, looks good. Thanks, Sketchy Penguin. Um, next, we need a, um, what folder do we need next? We need a um, folder for this other people's stuff, stuff by other people, you know. So let's make a thing for it. Um, actually, you know what I could do? I could take this thing that holds the phone and 
put the phone in it so that I don't actually have to hold the phone all the time. Ah, shoot. Sketchy Penguin has, says, who's still here? Very good question. Complex has 480p and 10 FPS. This is a high quality stream. Yeah, probably because this is like the only one that I'm streaming directly from my iPhone. And Starry's still here, yay! Complex still here, sweet. Okay, so. Let's take one of these things. And take one of these things. And um, this one is going to be other people stuff. Whoops. Not close enough. Maybe I need some like background music. Maybe this, maybe that's the problem. Let's, uh, let's, because now I'm here with my computer, so now I kind of can. Uh, spruce things up. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Okay. Other people stuff. Let's put this in its thing. I mean, I know I'm not being super, like, engaging right now. It's just, like, I want to do this, and, like, I figure you guys can hang out with me if it's not too boring for you, and uh, keep me company while I do. I should have, like, titled this video, like, keep me company while I rearrange stuff or whatever. I don't know, but um, that's what I did. So yeah, let's put in the in the folder for other people's stuff. Um, let's see um, what goes in here. Sketchy Penguin says, "This is fun because I'm doing school while I'm watching, so I'm getting things done." Still, uh, awesome. I wish I could be that productive and entertained at the same time. So that's Pierre's PCG file, um, and all this random artwork I showed you, the link one and all that stuff. And Sorry says, I never understand how people whistle so well. Me neither. Um, I mean, not that I'm an expert whistler or something, or anything, but, you know, there were years where, like, for, in fact, until I was, like, I don't know, maybe, like, 15, I couldn't whistle at all. Like, I just couldn't do it. And I eventually figured out how to do it. Compact says, Taishan Taiyang Hong Tang Hong Tong Tong A? <laughs> what language is that? Sketchy Penguin says, Yeah, for real, I could never figure out whistling. I don't know how I figured it out. Like, but I, it's like riding a bike, you know, like once you figure it out, you never forget it. It just becomes, you know, like a thing. But yeah. Um, okay, so we have two folders. We've got our Balzac stuff folder. We've got our other people stuff folder. Now, if we get more stuff, we can add them to these folders. All right, so. Um, I mean, my goal here is I wanna create a few folders and then uh, like there is gonna be more PCG stuff to show you guys. Um, but, cause like, I haven't shown you anything from this pile right over here. This is like quite a pile. And there's like this stuff. There's that stuff, there's that stuff as well. So there's a lot of PCG to get through here. But I mean, I wanna create, like the goal is to create a few folders and then organize stuff into them. Uh, Salman says, hey, just dropping in. Today's been super busy, you might come back again. Good luck with the organization or whatever you're doing. Thanks so, thanks so much, Salman. Uh, yeah, we're relocating all of my PCG stuff to another folder. So thanks for dropping in. Hopefully you're able to stop by a little bit later. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for stopping in. Um, 
But, uh, yeah, so. Oh, already we have something for the other people folder. The PCG float. Because, I mean, I assembled this, but this is, of course, by our good old friend, the Sonic Activist. Sketchy Penguin says, also, Zach, I just noticed that on the thumbnail of your year in review video, Zuvac only has two legs. Wait, what? He does? Let me see what you're talking about. Hold on. Let me put this in the other people folder. And then let's see what you're talking about. Check out uh, my channel videos. Wait. Wait, uh, that, that's too small to see. Let me check it out in my uh, folder. Um, where would I put it? Movies. Here we go. Oh, I see what you're saying. No, he does actually have three legs, but it's just that, you know, see one of them, like he's rotated in such a way that one of them is, one of the legs is behind the other. Like here, I'll, 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 I'll open it up so you can see. Let's go into Blender. <laughs> All right, gotta go, Peep says Salman. Bye Salman, thanks for joining. Um, yeah, let's, uh, file open. Uh, paper computer games models. Zuvac, where's Zuvac? No. Zuvac's lab. Okay, so, um, all right, so here's the model of Zuvac, right? See, uh, clearly he has three legs, but if you rotate around it in just the right way, it can look like he has only two. You see, that looks kind of like his legs on the thumbnail, but he does have three, so, yeah. That is, uh, that's how that goes. Anyway, so yeah, that'll be our buddy Zuvac. Um, anyway, what am I doing? Sketchy Penguin says, oh, I get it now. It just looks unnatural. Yeah, it's just a weird angle. <laughs> um, it does kind of look... Um, I mean, from this angle, it looks fine. It's just from that angle. Yeah, it does look like a little bit like the weight is off, right? It looks like here's the side, here's the, the middle, and then what? why is there nothing over here, right? But I guess, you know, if you look at it from this angle, it looks perfectly fine. So yeah, it is a little bit of a weird design. But yeah, I don't know. Anyway, um, so yeah, we are taking all this PCG stuff and we're gonna put it into that drawer. So, um, here's, by the way, here's my, uh, here's my Zuvac as a tree for the draw character a day thing, which by the way, y'all can participate in. Y'all should, uh, like we're it's still going on and you can jump in at any time and you know draw a character a day but anyway yeah um i don't know um oh the final thing i was good, like let's see this folder is for pokemon stop this is the script for pokemon stop and starry says pre-calc is fun pre-calc is fun Listen, uh, and Starry, uh, like my memory is probably gonna suck, but if you, um, you know, if you need help with any pre-calc problem or if you need anything explained, um, I have taken uh, pre-calc in calc one, two, and three. So I don't know how good my memory is, but feel free to, to, to tell me a problem you have in chat and I will do my best to help. Comp says, Compact Dev says, what's pre-calc? 
It's a uh, pre, like it's um, a, 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 a math course, uh, pre-calculus. It's um, you know, like more advanced than algebra, but less advanced than calculus. Thanks, no problem. I do love explaining stuff about math. I used to actually be a professional math tutor for a while, which is weird to say out loud. Like I was always growing up, I was the kid who could not understand math at all. My friends made fun of me because like I couldn't even do like what's eight times nine. I still can't, honestly, but then I took calculus, so it's okay. Complex says, ooh, calculus, yes. And sorry, he says, pre-calc is something invented by the grown-ups to torture the little children. <laughs> I can believe it. Sketchy Penguin says, oh no, I'm having enough problems with algebra. Hey, well, listen, once again, uh, Sketchy Penguin, if you're uh, doing any algebra problems, feel free to hit me up and I'll be happy to help. This is going to turn from a PCG channel to a, <laughs> to a Math Answers channel. Not really. Complex says 72. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, yeah, we've got the script for Pokemon Stop. We should make a folder for Pokemon Stop. I feel like Pokemon Stop should be yellow, don't you think? And Starry says 8 times 9 equals 71.2309. See, I don't think that sounds right, because that doesn't fit neatly on a times table. But I don't know that for sure, because I don't remember what 8 times 9 is. <laughs> Gunfix says, nah, trick is the best. Sketchy Penguin says, not gonna lie, my favorite is geography and history. And so he says, Pokemon Stop should be red for a Pokeball. Oh. That doesn't make sense. I don't know why I think of Pokemon as yellow. Oh, because Pikachu. And Pokemon yellow. That's why. But, yeah. Let's, uh, let's, let's, let's. And so he says, red, let's make it red. Pokemon Stop shall be red. Hey, hey, it's bad dollar sign. Nothing like waking up in the morning to a PCG stream. Heck yeah. And by the way, this is the first PCG stream ever that is being done from my phone. No, it's not. It's probably like my most boring PCG stream ever, but I am just uh, uh, reorganizing my PCG stuff. We are, see, here's what we gotta do, right? We gotta, we gotta like take this here pen and we gotta like, write stuff on these little folders. I'm going to write on these little headers. Complex says, I freaking hate history. Oh, man. Freaking history. All right, let's see. This is, this is, whoa, why did I turn down the volume? I didn't mean to do that. That's a reply to Sketchy Penguins or your message. Oh, okay. Answer says, history is the bane of my existence. What's about a history? I, I shouldn't talk. I, listen, I never took history in high school because I never went to high school or primary school. Or, um, And story says biology is mis interesting. So is math. Yeah, I agree completely. I mean, I never took... The only biology course I ever took was uh, botany, which is plant biology. But um, <laughs> and story says history can die in a hole. I'm very passionate about this. Oh, man. Yeah, the only history courses I ever took... I took like two history courses in college, and that's it. I thought they were fun. I thought they were interesting. It's just like, I don't know, read a thing and then... I mean, like, I guess it really depends what kind of professor you have, like, right? My professor was interesting. Like, he, he was really into it and he talked about it. So I just paid attention during class and then that was basically all I had to do. I didn't even have to worry about the... I mean, I did read it still, but, like, just paying attention in class was enough to... You know, I probably would have passed the course even if I hadn't done any of the homework. Um... But yeah, like I really shouldn't talk because I have taken exactly two history courses in my life. So, and uh, neither of them are, you know, and both of them are college courses, which generally have a reputation for being better than the other stuff. But yeah. Oh, all right, I'm gonna have to put this in, uh, in here. Okay, mon, stop. Only the oh, it's a pokeball, so it's got like a little. There we go. Yeah, Pokemon, stop. Okay.
So let's take one of one of these thingamajiggers. I wish I had like a GoPro. I wish I could like stream directly from my GoPro. <laughs> that would be a good stream. Cause it's annoying having to hold the phone in my hand or whatever. Or if I could just, you know, like paste the phone to my forehead. So I, <laughs> I guess that's the same thing. And story says both my parents are statisticians. So failing in math is not an option. Oh no, that sucks. But then again, failing in any class isn't an option. Oh no, that sounds like a lot of stress. Duct tape the phone to your forehead. I am very tempted to do that right now. Although I don't have any duct tape around here, so I guess I can't do that. But yeah, let us properly anoint the official Pokemon Stop folder. Should I change the music? I don't know. Maybe I should change the music. That might be a like a big brain thing to do. I don't know. Sketchy Penguin says, no, math is literally the worst. I actually like math. You know, I used to hate it when I was a kid. It was like the worst thing ever, but once I actually like went to college and I actually like, I was able to have enough of an open mind and I actually gave it a chance. It was actually kind of cool. I actually had fun with it. I know that sounds crazy, right? Math, fun, right? But, uh, but I actually like it now. Although I still failed it miserably, you know, many times, but you know, whatever, what you gonna do? Oh, and it falls out, oh, oh. Okay, hold on. Ugh. Okay, we have uh, we have salvaged the situation. And sorry, it says math is fun unless you're coming back from a vacation and your brain tends to spontaneously combust when you try to rub two math brain cells together. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like the not fun part is that you have to do it, and like even when you're tired, even when you all you want to do is something fun, you have to do math. That makes it the worst. And plus, like, just the, um, like, it gets hard. It's, it's really hard. Like, in the way they, like, I mean, I think there are better ways to do it. So that, but like, I mean, math itself is a fun thing. It is interesting. It's just having to do it all the time, which sucks. Um, don't get me wrong. Like, there are times, there are moments where I fucking hate, uh, uh, <laughs> excuse me, where I bleep and hate math. <laughs> um... Compact Dev says, yeah, it all depends on the professor. Like, I'm in primary school. I had a bad geography teacher, and now I have a teacher who understands how much my class of CS students will need ge geography in our lives. Yeah, like, the professor makes all the difference in the world, definitely. Sketchy Penguin says, the thing is, I just got off Christmas break and forgot everything I learned from math previously. That is the worst. Like, any break in math classes, you forget everything. Uh, I mean, <laughs> like... That's why, like, you like you just got to keep up the momentum. Like, no breaks at all. Like, I don't know. And even then, you're going to forget stuff eventually. Complex says, yeah, everything is bad when you have to do it. Yeah, absolutely. That's why I'm kind of against school in general. I know that's kind of a big thing, but, like, a, bi a big statement. But I, like, everything in, I mean, think about it. Everything in school, you have to do. And that makes it so much less fun. And things and like things stick in your head better if you learn them when you're having fun learning them. Like if you're learning it out of curiosity. But anyway, that that's my sorry for the for the rant. Sketchy Penguin says geography is so fun though. And sorry says like when your pre-calc teacher goes, here's something you really need to know. Hands out paper with 160 questions to do in class. <laughs> oh man, uh, good times. And sorry, he says, well, compact, get the soap. <laughs> oh, no, they're going to wash my mouth out. Sketchy Penguin says, yeah, I would give so much just to be drawing or doing something I enjoy, but instead I have to do math. I hate that. I hate that. You know, like, I legitimately did not learn math, pro not properly, until I was, like, I was in college. 
and I was fine. And that made me just feel like, man, you know, think of all the years of kids, um, you know, struggling through school and high school, you know, they have to learn math. If you don't learn this fast enough, you're gonna, you're not gonna get into a good college or whatever. And I didn't do any of that. I skipped all of it. And it took like one remedial semester to catch up on basic math. That was it. Or no, two remedial semesters. I had to do basic math and I had to do algebra in college. And that was it. And all the years of regular school and uh, and uh, high school and all that, totally unnecessary. It, it, it blew my mind. And all these years I'd been stressing myself out, like thinking I'm a failure and I'm never going to be able to get a job because... I can't do math. Meanwhile, I ended up learning physics, you guys. I I ended up do well, I mean, I ended up as a science writer and now a science communicator, I guess. Like I do stuff on the, you know, for a planetarium. But I wouldn't have been able to get those jobs if I didn't know physics and if I didn't know math. And all that, I completely skipped school. So 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 like school, like how you do in school and high school, like doesn't matter. It's just what your attitude is. If you want to learn something as an adult, you always can catch up on it. Um, Compact says, I think schools should teach us the most basic things like plus, minus, oh, like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, reading and writing. But when my teacher wants to know, no joke on this one, what Napoleon's favorite type of cheese is, it's too much. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I, I, I kind of agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> Napoleon's favorite kind of cheese. And sorry says, I'm basically a physics professor. Haha, <laughs> bouncy ball go burr, hit ground, calculate trajectory with brain cell. Error, error, error. brain cell.exe does not exist. Oh no. I mean, yeah, that's uh that's basically uh, you know, physics right over there, right there. That's uh, you know, physics in a nutshell. Um Should we go back upstairs and like get a few more things? Wait. Should I do this pile? I don't know what to do. Give me some direction, you guys. I'm lost. I don't know whether to start going through this uh, folder yet or um, or go through the other stuff um, or go upstairs and get some of the other piles and bring them back down here and put them in some more of these here, you know, folders. And sorry says, spin a circle five times and then try to draw something. Wait, spin in a circle five times and then try to draw something? Oh, that sounds like fun. <laughs> Bad dollar sign says, I hate math because you have to show your work. Do you know how much harder it is to cheat that way? Oh, man. Dude found the solution to throwing a ball without the math. One, 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 one. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe we should... Uh... Maybe we should go back upstairs and, and get the stuff. What do you think, guys, think? Let's do it. Oh, my messy house. No, no, no uh, secret views into the messiness. Okay. So which folder are we gonna take here? Um, and story says my algebra two teacher once took off points on a test because she said my fraction line wasn't long enough and wasn't entirely covering the binomial denominator. It was like half a centimeter short. Oh my gosh, that sucks so much. <laughs> At least it's easier for me to cheat since I'm homeschooled, but I prefer not to, so sketchy. Oh, hey, fellow homeschooler. I was homeschooled too, Sketchy Penguin. Although um, I'm di I'm different because I was unschooled, so that's a type of homeschooling in which you don't actually have to do anything. Um, bad dollar sign says Zach swears like everyone in existence exposed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I can neither confirm nor deny that statement, <laughs> bad dollar sign. Uh, well, I definitely need the odds and ends one. I'm going to make that into a folder. So that's high priority. Um, 
I might even make that into multiple folders. Um, and what's the, what, what folder? What, what, what's this again? Did I even go through this? Oh, I didn't go through this. Oh. Well, let's see. What have we got here? This is an inventory screen, so that's going in odds and ends. This... Um... Don't know what that is, so that's going in odds and ends. Um... Compact Dev says, yeah, some teachers probably decide what, what grade to give a student, then decide what's wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't doubt it. And Starry says, Zach curses? Zach wipes sweaty palms and starts to laugh nervously. Zach, I can neither confirm nor deny your accusations. I plead the fifth. <laughs> well, listen, you guys, I've got a... <laughs> I've got a reputation to maintain, yo. I, I I can't be I can't be going around, you know, like tossing out, you know, curse words left and right. People are gonna start to think I'm, you know, like everyone else in existence. Um Okay, this is gonna be this is a one page PCG. This is like a preview for Ari's PCG that I made. Yeah, this game was called like like, it starts, like, here. Like, th at the beginning of the game, this is the only part you can see. Like, that's you, and you're, you, like, there's this creature in front of you. What do you do? And that was the, that's the premise. But every time you get to, to the next level, I, like, reveal a little bit more. And there's, like, these giant letters here. It says, like, paper, computer, game, number 24. Coming soon. It's gonna own you. <laughs> and that's, that's the premise of this game. Um, and Starry says, wait, isn't there a Stream Clips channel? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Are entries allowed? Yeah, um, Yak has definitely sent, uh, clips to Salmon to put on that channel. <laughs> so, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, Sketchy Penguin says, yeah, just send Salmon the timestamps. <laughs> Compact says, like my Serbian teacher, honestly, screw her. She said that my essay on the uselessness of war was politically painted. My essay on our school was fake. And even though I stated both good and bad things about it. Oh, man. Politically painted. What does that even mean? <laughs> I guess I'd have to read the essay to know. But, man, that sucks. Um, but, yeah. Um, I don't know what this is. Ooh, this! Oh my goodness. This is a two-page PCG I made one time. It's a multiplayer PCG. And this is another PCG I've never talked about on this channel. So these are like just small PCGs that just never get the light of day. This one, like, hope you don't die. I started drawing at Kurt's house one time. This was supposed to be like an RTS... PC, the first ever RTS PCG, a real-time strategy paper computer game, but it didn't, like, it didn't pan out. So, yeah, that's that game. Um, then we got this random PCG. This was supposed to be the start of a roundabout, but that, like, with Ari and some people, but that never happened. Bad Dollar Sound says, where do you send the clips? Uh, send them to Solomon the Fish PCG. Uh, send them to him on Discord or wherever. Just send him the timestamps or the clips himself. He runs the channel, so he'll, he'll put it. Sketchy Penguin says, I wouldn't understand bad teachers because I've never had one, but that sounds terrible, Compaq. <laughs> of course not, Anstari. Of course not. Zach, you got a finger covering a bit of the camera, buddy? Wait, do I? Do I, though? The Compaq Dev says... I don't know, but I know that she's in the conservative party. Uh-huh. Wait, uh, what country is this in, Compaq, again? Um, uh, like, I don't know what, like, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I think, like, conservative means different things in different countries, right? Like, I know that, like, you know, in America, you know, the, the Republican Party is considered the conservatives. And Democratic Party is considered like the liberals or, you know, left wing or whatever. But um, in other countries, I think, you know, those words have different meanings. Like there's a liberal conservative party in one country or whatever. I don't know. It, 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 it's it's kind of confusing. But, uh, yeah. Um, man, this is going to this is going to turn into a into a politics stream real fast. <laughs> 
Um, so yeah, I don't know what uh, conservative party means <laughs> in your country. Um, yeah. Anyway, yeah, this is a uh, this is a uh, this is the the PCG. Um, man, I wish Yak was here because he. He, he was into this whole thing from the wiki. This was the, this is the, um, oh, what is it called? I don't know. It's one where you play as Chris. Like, I made this for Chris when he was in the hospital one time. And, um, you play as Chris and, um, this is like a whole universe. Like, this one screen is an entire universe. And this, like, line around the edge, that's like the ground. So it's like you can walk around, like, gravity... You know, you're walking like this, and then like this, and you see what I'm saying? But there's all this stuff just kind of like floating in the middle. And it's this whole like tiny little universe you have to explore. And that was and like I used a napkin for the inventory. That was good time. Here's the cell. Here's the cell that goes with this inventory screen. Um... Compact Dev says, Serbia is technically a democratic country, but functionally it's leaning towards authoritarian and the conservatives are for that. Well, that sucks. Um, so, like, uh, sorry to hear that. Authoritarian is not great. <laughs> and start... Yeah, we have brain cells in the back and he's got many of them <laughs> intact. Indeed. This is my fig PCG, which has never seen the light of day and never will. <laughs> All these green papers. This is the fig PCG. This is like a thing for a thing I just started making and then never did anything with. This was supposed to be the first screen of a PCG. Like, you're sleeping, then you wake up. It's like, what? Where am I? And for that matter. But anyway, I think I need to take... Um, Uh, the this uh, uh, odds and ends folder down there. Bad Dollar Sun says I think inventory screens are becoming less popular. Yeah, I don't know. Like as I play more games like on um, stream, it's easier to just not have them because like it doesn't matter. You know, I don't know. Um, I mean, I'll still do them like if I need to or whatever. Um, Compact says, also, it's an unfortunate that homeschooling isn't a thing here. That is unfortunate. I mean, it's barely a thing. Well, no, I shouldn't say that. It, it is a thing here um, in America. But there's, like, different kinds of homeschoolers. Like, there's some homeschoolers like me who just, like, homeschool because their parents are like, I don't know. I want to, you know, I don't want to send them to school. You know, I want them to be able to have more free time or whatever. But then there's, like, homeschoolers who, like, homeschool for, like, religious reasons. And... You know, it's kind of to shelter them from learning anything in school. And that is a thing. Um, anyway, um, Compact Dev says, Oh, yes, I love figs in the PCG universe. Not in the real universe. I hate figs. What? But they're tasty. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess to each and their own. But yeah, figs in the PCG universe. Thank you. Like, one of my favorite creations. Sketchy <laughs> Penguin says they hate themselves, too. Uh... <laughs> Bad dollar sign says, a thing for the thing I was making. <laughs> yes, indeed. Sketchy Penguin says, I make inventory screens for my games, but usually don't use them except when playing with my family. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, like if I was playing with somebody in person, I would definitely still make an inventory screen. Um, Compact says, yeah, sheltering is bad in my opinion. Yeah, definitely. Anstar says, Compact, figs don't deserve gratitude. <laughs> Well said, sir. Well said. Um, yeah. Um, I think I'm just going to make, like, a folder for just, like, random mini PCGs. I think that's going to be a thing. I think this will be the, the pile for that. Um, okay, so let's... When is the worthless life of a fig coming out? Never. Never, ever going to happen. Oh, fuck. You know why? Because figs don't deserve to have their own games. 
I'm kidding. Uh, probably eventually. Um, the thing is, like, there's a lot of games people are requesting first, so I'm probably going to make uh, The Lives of Ginkus first, probably, like, another Pokemon Stop game first, assuming I can get the motivation to do even that. I do still want to do A Fig's Worthless Life, but... Um, it only has like a couple of screens made for it and that would take a lot of work. So it's, it's, it's like, uh, several games down on the order of things to, to, to finish. Um, okay. So yeah, um, let's take the odds and ends folder. We'll take the one page PCGs folder and, um, yeah, actually, I guess this stuff could go with odds and ends for now. And then, I yeah, I'll take these two. And um, anything else? Uh, I guess I could, like, these are I can go with the one-page PCGs because those are, that's what that is, basically. Um, I don't know, I guess... There's not enough comics to have a comic folder. This is... I don't know. We'll deal with that later. Um, I guess this will go with the odds and ends. Alright, whatever. Let's just take this whole mess and sort it out downstairs. What are people in chat saying? The f Compact Dev says, The Fig Paradox. If I tell a fig I love them, they're going to be sad. So do I really love them? But it knows that. So it isn't sad because it doesn't deserve and doesn't get love. So it is happy. But, <laughs> oh no. Oh my god, I love that compact to have. <laughs> oh man, somebody should make a video on the fig paradox. That is such a cool idea. And sorry, he says, motivation is a very tricky thing. I have mo no motivation right now. Same. Sketchy Penguin says, yeah, same. But actually would like to make a PCG right now instead of school. I know. I know. Story of my life. <laughs> and story says figs aren't happy or sad because they don't deserve emotion, so the paradox is therefore disproven. <laughs> oh, that's a good point. Although, figs can have things that they don't deserve. They just, they just have them and, like, have to get rid of them as fast as they can. Like, you know? Like, if a fig has a friend, it's like, oh, figs don't deserve friends. And then they would, like, you know, have to go on a mission to get rid of the friend as quickly as possible. <laughs> so they would have had a friend for a period, but then they got rid of them, you see? So I guess they could have emotions. <laughs> Sketchy Penguin says, but they don't deserve to not deserve emotions. <laughs> so the theory still works. <laughs> I like that. Bad Dollar Sign says, Alex Bale has his SpongeBob 7 theory that's going to give me motivation for something, I think. Sweet. That is what I like to hear. All right, let's make a folder for, um, uh, what color should the, uh, random PCGs folder be, guys? Red, yellow, or blue? And Starry says, well, no, because if they don't deserve it, I will smite them and take it. What was theirs is now mine. Oh, no, and Starry. Are you secretly the great, uh, mouth? Complex says, I was working on a PCG, and then we got a 75-page homework to do in two weeks. Oh, man, that sucks. And he says yellow. I know. I have, I sort of have a homework I have to do for work by tomorrow as well. I, I really shouldn't be doing this, but, I mean, I just put together the desk. So, it, you know, look, it needs to be done. It needs to be done. All right. Complex said yellow, so yellow it is. Our first yellow folder is going to be, um, bad dollar sign also agrees yellow. Alrighty, sweet.
they don't, yeah, sorry, it says, but they don't deserve to not deserve to not deserve emotion, so the theory still works. That, you know, I, I, I can't dispute that logic. Sorry for my terrible whistling. I just like, it's just kind of compulsive when there's music on in the back. I also think I should spice up the amount, the, the kinds of music there is, like add some stuff to the, to the, um, to the, uh, whatchamacallit. Playlist. Sketchy Penguin says, well, I can't dispute you there. Yeah, see? Um, in fact, like, uh, ironclad logic right there. <laughs> uh, what am I, what am I, um... Okay. Ah. Wait, what am I doing right now? <laughs> what folder am I making? I forgot what, which one I'm making. Play Golden Wind in the background. Wait, what's Golden Wind? Is that... No, not that. Second Wind? Sketchy Penguin says I'm going to be doing math for the next five hours or keep streaming. I'm not bored. Yes. I'll try. <laughs> okay, I don't know if that's what you were asking for, Golden Wind, but that's the only one I know, so that's what's happening. Um... This is, um, for the, uh, did we say this was going to be the mini, um, PCG folder? And Starry says, my pre-calc teacher is really fun though, and he explained how he has thin synesthesia and can see colors in math equations and numbers when something doesn't look the right color and normally isn't correct. That is so cool. Um, I, I wish I had that ability. I mean, I do have like, you know, when I see a number, I kind of visualize it as a color. Well, not when I see it. It's just like, you know, I do think of certain numbers as colors. Like if you ask me what color is three, I'd say probably like, you know, I don't know, like a strawberry color. <laughs> I don't know why. What color is two? Two is yellow for sure. A hundred percent. Four is like kind of brownish. Five is like maybe blue. I don't know, but I don't have the, But that doesn't help me with math because like when I'm doing math, I like I don't visual like, you know, I don't visualize it like that. It's only when I really think about the concept of three that I imagine it would be like that. Also, days of the week. Like I think of Thursday as the red day. Friday is kind of no wait. Thursday is like a reddish brown. Friday is kind of like. Um, like a silvery blue. Saturday is just plain silver gray. Sunday is yellow. <laughs> um, uh, Via says, is this still going on? And yes, it is. <laughs> and Starry says, yeah, like three is light green and six is dark green. And Starry says, wait, uh, Sketchy Penguin says, I associate colors with days of the week and people. <laughs> Sweet. And so he says, Zach, three is light green. We aren't allowed to have different opinions. Oh, no. Five is blue. Let's agree on that. Yeah, 100%. Four is red. I think, it, what did I say four was? I think I said four was like kind of brownish. I could see four as a brownish red. I don't know. Sketchy Penguin says, that that is exactly how I picture colors of the week, too. Oh, my gosh. And I guess we meant, like, it must be associations from something. I don't know. We must have seen something on TV or whatever that, like, like, hey, it's Sunday, so it's, like, bright and sunny and, you know, like, I don't know, like, associations like that, you know? Um, but, yeah. 
Golden Wind from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Yeah, but that's going to be copyrighted, though. I probably shouldn't play that on here. I'm going to get a copyright um, strike or whatever. Um, all right. This is going to be for the mini PCGs folder. If I could... Ugh. So... Ah! Uh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to put the phone down for a second. There we go. I think the reason we associate Sunday with the yellow is because it has sun, which is yellow. That is true, although technically speaking, every day does have sun, you know? So, <laughs> although you're right, it has it in its name. Minis. Am I like, I'm left with so much extra label, I feel like I should like, I don't know, like make a swirl there or something to make it all decorative and cool. There we go. The name literally has sun in it. Yeah, that is, that is true. That's true, I can't deny that. It's a good point right there. Okay, so. This is the folder for mini PCGs. I think that's what I was supposed to do, I hope. Um, oh shoot, I should put this in here first. Via says, sketchy penguin. Okay? <laughs> oh, cause Via, cause we are talking about, um, we're talking about uh, why we think of each day of the week as being a different color. Like, I, both Sketchy Penguin and I think of Sunday as being yellow, even though Sunday is a day, and so obviously it does not actually have a color. All right. So here goes the ceremonial event. We are going to place these paper computer games into this yellow folder. Okay. Um, for those not in the know, que is Spanish, like spelled Q-U-E. It's pronounced que, and that is Spanish for what? So, yeah. That's our folder for PCG for mini PCGs. That dollar sign says, ah. I agree completely. Now we can put some minis in here like these guys, which have just been sitting here with no place forever and ever. Like Dark Triforce Bleed and Pokemon Stop Keys. Which by the way, I didn't even notice. I made these in the opposite direction. See, this folds out like this, but this one folds out like this. Compact Dev says Monday has moon in it. True. Saturday has Saturn in it. Also true. And Starry says K equals K, <laughs> which is K, which is okay. <laughs> true. <laughs> it does sound like K. Um, oh, what am I missing? There's a third one of these somewhere. Oh, well, it'll, it'll pop up eventually. We'll just put these two in the PCG Minis folder for now. I can always separate these out into more like subfolders or whatever, but now it's, for right this second, it's just nice to have a place to put all this stuff. Um, and this is art. I feel like I need a folder for PCG art. Like, just like, like, just, that's just like, um, a picture. It's not part of a PCG or anything. Via says, was that the PS5 box we saw? No. I don't Bad dollar signs it says Minecraft oil. Yeah, but I don't know where that is right now. I mean, it, it should be over there somewhere in that mess of stuff, but, um, I figure it'll turn up as I go through that stuff some more. But, um... 
Yeah, via PS5 box. No, that. I mean, you probably just saw the um, my 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 computer. That's my my new PC. Dun, dun, dun. So yeah. Um. Oh, this box is that what you meant? That's the uh, box for my Alienware laptop. That's what it came in. So yeah. Um. Guys, guys, give me a color. He <laughs> says, oh, okay, alien emoji, yes. Okay, so guys, give me a color. Um, I need a color to put just random artworks like this one. Bad dollar sounds uh, I'm playing AC and L right now. What is that? Compact Dev says, hey, by the way, he just a heads up on the last of the Zarelta is not in Series 2 on the PCG shop for some reason. Huh. That's weird. Hmm. Maybe, maybe I was thinking I would put it in its own, uh, in its own series at some point, but the whole series thing, I think there's like a limited number of series I can make. So I kind of just gave up on that whole thing. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird, but I'll, I'll look into that. Thanks for the heads up, Compaq. Bad dollar signs. Wait, Compaq says red. Bad dollar signs says blue. And Starry says yellow. Oh no. I need a tiebreaker. Via, are you still here? Give me a color and you'll be the tiebreaker. V says brown, purple, orange. No, 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 no. The, the options are red, yellow, or blue. See, because I have red, yellow, or blue folders. Um, and Star says, yo, bad dollar sign. ACNL equals Animal Crossing New Leaf. Oh, that would make sense. V says blue. Um, okay, blue it is. Blue is the winner. We shall have a blue folder for a random PCG artwork. So first let's um <laughs> Compex is brown, purple, and orange have the color red in them. You get them by mixing colors with red. Yeah, but I can't mix. <laughs> I can't mix the folders. <laughs> Convex says, shoot. Bad dollar sign says, yeah, blue. And Starry says, mix the dividers. <laughs> oh no. Sketchy Penguin says, but red is a much better color. Well, that'll have to be for the next um, thing, because do it, grind it to pulp. Oh no. <laughs> I, listen, Ann Starry, I would if I could. I don't have a pulp grinder. And Starry says, yes, we will have brown. <laughs> Via says you need more color folders. I agree, but these were the ones I ordered. Sketchy Penguin says make purple, Zach. Oh no. Let's research color theory. <laughs> okay, um, we're gonna call this one PCG. So for those not in the know, this stands for Paper Computer Game Art. Out of curiosity, did anyone send anything to uh, to Salman from today's stream yet? Um. <laughs> and sorry, it says paper computer games. What? I don't understand. What are PCGs? <coughs> that's a that's a good question. <laughs> that is a very good question. And I do have a, a video explaining that topic <laughs> in case anyone's not clear on it. You know, just saying. PCG art. Let's put this over here so it's visible. Compact Dev says, I don't know what paper computer games are. Maybe like Paper Mario or <laughs> Shaking My Head. <laughs> yeah, maybe something like that, you know? All right. Well, so, so this folder is just going to start with Via says, PCG is paper computer games? No way. I thought it was potatoes, cats, gorillas. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, it could be. Maybe that is what it is. You never know. I feel like this is curling the wrong way. I feel like this is going to be hard to see. Let me, let me uh, flip this. Oh, hey, it's Krillin. Welcome, Krillin. 
And Sorry says, I think you mean PCGs, paper game computers. PCGs. <laughs> oh my goodness, yes, that is exactly what I mean. And this PCGR folder is going to start with just this one image of Trevac, or whatever you want to call them. And it's going to go inside the thing. Krillin says PCG is equals ponies, cotton gators. <laughs> Via says killing, where is 18? Huh? Que significa eso? No entiendo esa oración. Platform compatibility guide. Ooh, that's a good one. Partial compatibility uh, genius. <laughs> I don't know. Is that what PCG stand for? Yes, it is. And so it says, no comprendo. <laughs> Which is Spanish for, I don't understand. Via says, why you die so much? Goku is tired of you using the Dragon Balls to revive you. Me? I don't, I, I never die. I don't, I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so we've got a, we've got a. Compact that says private client group. Krillin says, hey Zach, what'd you think of my Glitchback character? Oh, I thought that was a really cool concept. Let's like uh, check that out. I put that on the uh, on the wiki, by the way, on this the article for draw a character a day. See, like here's um, everyone's different versions of Zuvac for for the first day. Like they were prompted to make Zuvac, and they all made it their own way. This one by Eldritch Theater. This is the one by Krillin. This is like a glitchy Zuvac, like a like a sort of digital. Um. Drope official says, hi, I'm back. Sweet, welcome back. Thanks for being here. Um, but yeah, I think this is, this is a super cool concept, Krillin. Complex says, glitch back. I know, right? <laughs> Sketchy Penguin says, me patiently waiting for PCG Awards 2021. Oh, man. <laughs> I feel like I should turn on the light. It's getting kind of dark in here. Let's, uh... Let us do that. Let us... Oh, hey, look who it is. What? Let's turn on the light. I had Glitchvac in Last of the Zarelta computer version. Oh, man, did you? <laughs> Via says, oh, my God, PCG Awards. Yeah, Krillin is doing a PCG Awards in the, in the, in the Discord. Um, it's super cool. Um... Sketchy Penguin says, oh my god, that Zuvac is scary. Oh my gosh. Done. 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 That one's by Via, by the way. So, uh, congrats to Via. <laughs> I mean, thanks to Via, I should say, not congrats. Um, Complex says, now nah, that Zuvac is awesome. Krillin says, if you guys don't know who he is, he controls the souls of humans and robots. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Anyway, this is this folder needs to happen. Um, this is like the odds and ends folder. Wait, I think like some of these could go in the PCG art folder. Definitely, um, these two either go in the other people folder or PCG art. I don't know. I guess. I guess for now I'll say. Um, for some reason, I feel like they go in art. So okay. This definitely goes in PCG art. This definitely goes in PCG art. The Ginkus and Nezareth fighting. And, um... That one and this one.
Bad Dollar Sign says, wait, is the Zuvac Draw Day thing still a thing? Yes, it is. Sketchy Penguin says, go to the, the DACAD PCG Discord channel to learn more. Yeah, so yeah, absolutely. Go into the... Look, look, go into the PCG Discord and people, like, each day there's a new prompt for some, for the, for a character to draw that day, but you can totally jump in and draw earlier prompts. So, like, the first day was Zuvac, the second day was Matak Roshi Veg, which is, of course, this guy. It's all different characters from different PCGs. So, um, yeah, just go into the PCG Discord, which should be linked in the description here, I hope. Um, here's the Dakad channel to talk about it, and that's a Yak's version of roughly the, the minor. Um, but yeah, you, you guys should, uh, jump on board that. Like, it's still totally cool to, like, go back and add your version of Zuvac or add your version of Matak, or you can just start with, uh, today's prompt. Has there been a prompt for today? Oh, shoot, today's prompt is Cleaning Bot. I didn't even realize. So yeah, if you want to draw Cleaning Bot... That is the prompt for today. So, yeah. You have two monitors now. Nice. You know it. Heck yeah. JCC says, hi. Hi, welcome, JCC Paper Games. <laughs> Compex says, partial credit guarantee, platform compatibility guide, private client group, phonocardiogram, <laughs> public consulting group. Which one is it? Oh, my God. Yes. All of them. Drop official says, do you have a PCG float? If so, could you show it? Yes, I do, and yes, I can. I actually just showed it before, but I will gladly show it again because I just put it in um, this other people stuff folder. Here it is. PCG float. It's got some apps. It's got games. I didn't have all the colors needed to properly color it in, so tutorial bots on a green background instead of yellow, but yeah. This is the PCG float created by the Sonic Activist, and uh, yeah, this is my copy of it. So uh, yeah, there it is. Wow, lots of people are joining. I know, right? Isn't it sweet? Via says the most boring stream brings the people in. I know, right? Also, ouch. Um. V is so harsh. Sketchy Penguin says, welcome, everybody. This is your reminder to like the... Oh, I'm not going to read that. I can't promote myself, but thank you very much, Sketchy Penguin. Much appreciated. Anyway, these artworks are going to go in the... Via says, dislike stream. Ouch. Actually, yeah, go for it, Via. Click the dislike button. Um... Krillin has, says, has there been a PCG float console? Isn't that what it is? You mean like, oh, you mean like console as opposed to handheld? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, the Sonic Activist has made PCG consoles, but it, he didn't call it the float. He had like the PCG Xbox, I think. Anyway, let's, um, let's put this in the art folder. Okay. So yeah, let's see what's going on here. Let's put these in the art folder as well. At least it's gonna be somewhat organized. I'm gonna be somewhat able to find my stuff from now on. Um, so now this one, the next folder is gonna be, uh, Via says, I did it, I just liked it. Thank you, Via, because you are unknowingly helping this channel <laughs> because when you dislike a video, like YouTube, like YouTube doesn't care. YouTube just sees that as a uh, as a uh, positive. Of like you 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 in, you were engaged enough in the video to have a feeling about it one way or another, and that makes YouTube's algorithm more likely to show this stream to more people. So, thank you for the help. Uh, much appreciated. Um, Sketchy Penguin says, "Hey, we're now up to six likes. Sweet." Compact says, it doesn't matter if they hate you. They know you. True. Drop Officials is awesome video. I'm 100% liking. Thanks so much. Mia says, yay. <laughs> I don't know. If you hate this video so much, why do you want it? And Starry says, let's go from like two viewers to like eight. Yes, I know. I know. We're getting there. I wonder if I just did like a like a 10-hour stream. I wonder how, how high it could go. Oh, but I don't have the uh, stamina for that. Anyway, this is like just the odds and... Oh, this one is art. This goes in the art folder. 
Um, anything else go in the art folder from here? This is, I mean, a lot of this stuff is going to go in the odds and ends folder, but um, I feel like I should have a separate folder for like stuff from cartoons, but I can sort that out later. For now, I'll just put it all in odds and ends. Um, Bad dollar sign says eight likes, eight views. Nice. Yes. The chat is popping. Kaylin says, if you think about it, Detune World is a print and play. I, I guess that's true. <laughs> Complex says, if you have content for the, you have content for the 10 hour stream, playing Balzac Lobotron. Oh my goodness. Listen, Compact, that would be more than 10 hours. <laughs> that would be a lot more than 10 hours. Like when we, the first time we played that game, that took like freaking like probably like 10 sessions of like a few hours each to beat that game. Yeah, I guess this is all just odds and ends stuff right now. Via says, it's time for random Spanish words. Paper equals papel. That is true. And she says, games equals juegos. That is also true. Yeah, papel and juegos. Via says, computer equals computadora. Yeah, so really, I am still... Like, you know, I, I, I was always of the opinion that, um, that, uh, that, <laughs> Sketchy Penguin says, Papel Computadora Juegos equals PCJs. <laughs> yes. PCJs. Yeah, see. Sí. I mean, yeah, I was of the opinion when V was making the channel... Uh, PCGs in Espanol, the Spanish language PCG channel. I was of the opinion that we should call it Papel Computadora Juegos, but she said that sounds stupid in Spanish, so so she didn't want to do that. Uh, but I mean, I th I always thought isn't sounding stupid like isn't that the whole point? But you know, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Krillin says I found Detune World and Paper Pokemon on Reddit. Really? Let's find. Let's uh, let's investigate. That. Well, no, first I'm gonna make a photo. No, first I'll investigate it. Okay, let's see. Um, uh, Reddit detuned paper. Detuned paper. Oh, hey. Detune Paper does have a Reddit. Check that out. Awesome. Uh. Oh, get out of my face. All right. Well, whatever. Y'all who have read it, because I don't, y'all should uh, follow Detune Paper on there. I do also, wait. I do also have a, um, Detune World. Yeah, I do, like, so yeah, there it is. I do also have a Paper Computer Games Reddit. Uh, it's not showing up. Oh, well. Wait, what's chat saying? Compact Dev says, is Balzac Lobotron as long as the campaign for North Africa? <laughs> I mean, probably. <laughs> it's very long. Via says, penguin equals pinguino. Drope to official says, could someone give me a link to print the PCG float? Also, I can't join the Discord. It says link is invalid. Oh, I hate when that happens. All right, let me, ah, uh, let me let me fix that. Let me put a link for the, uh, uh invite people, expire after never, generate new link, copy. Then let's go into our. Yeah, 
into our videos or whatever. Complex says, I honestly want to play the campaign for North Africa so much, but I don't have the patience for it. I've never even heard of that. I don't know what that is. Sketchy Penguin says, okay, I'll join his Reddit. Sweet. And Sark says, yeah, no problem. Dropedo here. Oh, he put the link. Sweet. Bad Dollar Sign says, King Raven in Spanish. Oh, shoot. Um, wouldn't that be like El, El Rey Cuervo? Something like that? Quillen says, the Paper Gaming Awards will probably release maybe on Thursday because I'm back in school after I had this stuff. Sweet. Krillin, um, uh, glad you're feeling better. Um, Campaign for North Africa has been called the longest board game ever produced with estimates that a full game would take 1,500 hours to complete. Wow. Via says, for you, it would be Penguino Deshonesto, Dishonest Penguin, or Pinguino Suspechoso, <laughs> Suspicious Penguin. Why? What? Sketchy Penguin? Oh, because Sketchy. Oh. Pinguino deshonesto. I like that. Pinguino sospechoso. <laughs> Sus penguin. <laughs> yes. All right, so first and foremost, uh, Rollzack Globetron clearly goes in the PCG art folder. Um... Okay, so what, oh, uh, guys, I need a color. Um, Complex says I linked the Reddit, sweet. Since you couldn't find it. Oh, sweet, thanks. Wait, where'd you link it? Like in the in the chat or in comments? Because I'm not seeing it in the chat. Um, Sketchy Penguin says, oh my god, Via, that's the best. <laughs> yes. Via says, King is Rey and Raven is Cuervo. Yes, I was right. I can't believe I remember the word Cuervo. Uh, Via taught me that. Thank you, Via. Um, so happy. Um, in the chat. Yeah, I might have gotten... Like, I don't know why I allowed the other link, but I guess it's not allowing this one because I'm not seeing it in the chat. So maybe you should put it in a comment or whatever. Krillin says, Zach, do you play video games? If so, what game systems do you play on? Um, yes, but, um, not super a whole lot. I have all the, all the Nintendo systems. I have a Switch right now, and I have all the old systems as well. Right now, um, the most recent game I was, I, I was sort of playing is, um, I was playing Super Metroid, um, because I, I never played it. I've never played Super Metroid, so I'm playing through it for the first time and enjoying it, but, uh, like, it's sort of emulated, so it's bad, um. Bad dollar sign says Rey Cuervo. Am I saying it right? Uh, yeah, but it should be like two words. And sorry, says like, try spamming a YouTube link and it doesn't work. Do you have a 3DS? Yes, I do. And Starry shares the link, though. Maybe, wait. Wait, is it, could it be just because And Starry has the wrench and Compact Dev doesn't? I should give, um... All right, that's it. Compact Dev, uh, I have officially made you, uh, given you the wrench. So maybe that'll help. Um, so try, try sharing it now, Compact Dev. Um, so yeah, guys, I need a color. We're gonna be the color for my odds and ends folder. Wait, somebody gave me a color already. What color did they say? I'm scrolling up, scrolling up, scrolling up. Sorry, I got distracted by chat. Sketchy Penguin said red. Okay, so red it is. Um. Okay. So ah! You know, this is pretty bang. I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of these uh, phone streams. I should do more of them. I'm probably not gonna, since it's just, you, you can do so much more with your PC streams, but still. 
you know, the freedom to walk around and stuff. No, Zach, you need to call him Pinguino Sospechoso. All right, I'll try. It's Pinguino Sospechoso. Okay, Pinguino. All right, gotcha. A good thing about Spanish is that it's super easy to pronounce. Like, if you have, uh, like, if you see the word, you know exactly how to pronounce it because the letters are pretty much always pronounced the same way. As opposed to English, where the same letter can mean freaking anything. So I've been told that, you know, people learning English for the first time have a lot of trouble with that. But, um, bad dollar sign says no blue. Ah, uh, sorry, too late. Too late, sketchy penguin, you know. What can I say? I mean, pinguino sospechoso got it, you know, like early bird gets the worm. What can I say? All right, so, um... Sketchy Penguin says, I'm now officially Pinguino so Sospechoso. Yes. Okay. Odds. Uh, how do you draw an ampersand? Wait, this is not an ampersand. Ah! Odds and ends. Okay. Now I need one of... One of these things... Complex says English is a lith logography that's masked as an alphabet. Interesting. Why do you say that, Compact Dev? I hate ampersands. Oh, because of the ampersands. Yeah, that's true. I don't see the reason for their existence. <laughs> well, you know, because, because like, I mean, if you think about it, why does anything exist, you know? <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's just... The, the, the... Languages just really evolve, like, but like, uh, like whatever. But yeah, I see what you're saying though, because like, uh, to translate, you know, what Compex said for for the non linguistically inclined uh, folk, um, like, logographic, like, there's different kinds of writing systems. Like, English is an alphabet, meaning that each symbol is like makes a little sound. You know, like, to to make a syllable, you need two letters, like. P A makes pa. That's one syllable. That so that's what an alphabet does. But like then there's other systems like a syllabary system where each symbol is like the whole syllable. Like in Jap like a Japanese hiragana or katakana, it's like um, you, you know each symbol is one syllable. So pa would be one symbol. But then there's a logographic writing systems like Chinese where each symbol is just a whole word. So instead of like r spelling out words with multiple symbols, you just have like one big symbol for each word. And then, but then each symbol can be very complex. And um, yeah, so that's logographic writing. So Compact is saying that English is like secretly logographic because it has like pictures in it. Anyway, uh, hey folks. Um, what is Chapin saying? Via says, tonight is a soup kind of night. I very much disagree. Sketchy Penguin says, I feel dumb asking this, but is ampersands only for English? No, um, I mean, you can say them in Spanish too, I think, right? Right, Via? Like the ampersand? Um, Bad Dollar Sign says, wait, you have a 3DS? How do you know about ACL, ACNL? Listen, like the only games I have for 3DS are like the three Zelda games for it, I think. Do I have anything else for 3DS? I also have like, freshly picked Tingle's Rosy Rupee Land, which is basically a Zelda game anyway. Um, I feel like I might have some other stuff, but I'm forgetting what I have. Compact of uh, Flamespot says, did I hear soup? Oh no, Flamespot. <laughs> Compact says, it's logographic because there's new, no rules for spelling. Ah, I see. There's famous. There's the famous G H O T I example. Yeah, G H O T I, where G H O T I can spell fish, because the G H from enough and you know so on and so forth. Via says you heard correctly. Flame spot. Drope official says the stream is gonna blow up. Hopefully, thanks. Via says at. <laughs> 
Yo, Zach, Google Translate this. How? <laughs> I can't click on it. I'm on my phone right now. Complex says, since you're a Star Trek fan, Zach, G-H-O-T-I is actually Klingon for fish. Wait, really? Is it? <laughs> I don't know enough. I mean, I am a big Star Trek fan, but maybe not that big. I don't know enough Klingon to know if that's true or not. <laughs> um... Oh, Compact Dev links it again, and it worked this time. Sweet. Thank you, Compact Dev, the PCG um, Reddit. Anyway, uh, yeah. Let's, um, you know, maybe I should um, open up this uh, stream and, like, mute it so that I can see what chat is saying. So I can actually, like, click links and stuff if I need to. r slash paper computer games there's a post a year ago by angry kp hey bro results are out let's go check it out i don't know if this has to do with anything but that's it these are the only two posts my original sketch of zuvax lab that via designed the 3d model after yeah that's the sketch and these are the only two posts on the pcg uh reddit but you guys should totally um you know, join it and post stuff on it. And, you know, cause it has nine members, you know, dude, dude, we should, we should make this a thing. But yeah, anyway, uh, we put this stuff in the, what is chat saying? Via says ampersand is this, the at symbol, or am I mistaken? Yeah, I think so. Like I keep saying like, wait, that's not an ampersand cause I'm correcting myself, but then I'm confused. Wait, let me let me let me just Google that to, for my own sanity, because I'm pretty sure you're right, Via. But just want to double check. Ampersand. Oh, it is this. This is the ampersand. The ampersand, also known as the and sign, is the logogram representing the conjunction and. Yeah, so this is the ampersand. So what's um, what's the at sign? The at sign, at, is normally read aloud as at. It is also called the, commonly called the at symbol. Okay, so it doesn't have a name. All right, sweet. So I was right to call it an ampersand. Sketchy Penguin says, I think I'm going to go because I can't focus on school, and sadly school comes first. Aw, oh, man, thanks for joining for so long, Sketchy Penguin. Much Appreciated. Sketchy Penguin says, wait, no, it's ampersand. Via says, yes, we use it. We adopted words and symbols too. Sweet. Complex says, oh, I thought it's only for English. No. Oh, and Starry's going too. Thanks so much for joining us, and Starry. Have a nice dream. I'll try. Complex says, we don't use it here since our word for and is literally just I. <laughs> that's awesome. Wait. Like, yeah, that's uh, in Spanish, too. V is saying and equals E. Just the letter Y is is and in Spanish. V says at sign equals arroba. Oh, yeah, you said that one time. Arroba. But that's so cool that you guys have a name for it, even if we don't. Compact Dev says we call at a monkey here where I live. Really? Kaelin says, I'm back. Hey, welcome back. Ampersand used to be a letter in the English language. Wait, it did? Really? When? There's a there's an archaic letter in the English language that I didn't know about? That is super cool. Okay, so we've got our odds and ends folder. Let us place it inside of the... Um... Whoops. Ah! And this coming together, this coming together. We got lots of folders, lots of folders. Whoo, yeah. Mm. Feel like I'm gonna need a um 
a, uh, like a snack to keep going, yo. Um, should I get blue chips? <laughs> but, uh, I don't know, but I think I've learned my lesson against eating blue chips on stream. Compact Dev says, yeah, there's a lot of archaic letters. Yeah, like, I, I know, but... I mean, I, I thought I knew them all, though. The long S. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that, that's used in archaic stuff. And the thorn and the, the thing and, you know, whatever. The other kind of stuff. Thorn letter. This is what thorn looks like. This used to be a letter in the English language. It's basically a TH. This sounds like the TH. Like, if I were to write thing, I would write it with this ING. So... Thorn ING is the correct way to spell Thorn, if you ask me. The thing, I mean, yeah, but anyway. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, I'm like, all right, we've been doing this for 131 minutes and 51 seconds, and that's just on this part two stream. So that's like, what, two hours and 10 minutes? Um... I'm gonna need to get a snack, you guys. And like maybe a glass of water or something. This is like, I don't know, the first time I've walked around, you know, outside my PCG zone during a live stream, I think. Compact Dev says, Thorn, yes! <laughs> Like, little known fact, you know, my PCG, the Mansion of Mystery, has a thorn in its title. We're doing it blue chips. I'm sorry. I need a snack. I've been doing this too long. My mind is gum loopy. But I have to finish. I have to uh, successfully complete the uh, the folder. I was chat saying, if anything. Bad dollar sign says, instead of saying WXY and Z before, they said WXYZ and ampersand. Oh, that is so cool. Wait, I feel like I've heard that. Maybe I did know this. I don't know. Via <laughs> this Y and Z. Compact Dev says the Loch Ness monster. Oh my goodness! I don't think. Uh, no, 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 I did know that one. I have seen that one. That 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 that's awesome, man. You guys are reigniting my love for linguistics. Okay. So what's this stuff? Let's go through it. We've got a sticker. I'm gonna just make a pile for the stickers. Okay. Um. This is a PCG right here. So. Vias is giving me chips. Yeah, sure. Come over and get them. Oh, so this is a PCG. Alternate Pewter Game Number One: The Attack. Is this available? I think this one. I don't think it's available on the PCG shop, but I think I could make this one available on the PCG shop super easily. Um, but anyway, let's put that aside for now. What else have we got here? This is just paper. We can we can recycle that. Um. This is just paper as well. I don't know. Cardboard. This is garbage. Garbage, garbage, garbage. 
This is blue paper, so that's actually pretty cool paper. So that I should save. Compact Dev says they didn't call it XYZ and Ampersand because they called it Et at the time. Yeah, because via, because like, um, Et is in Latin is how you say and. It says E-T. <laughs> Krillin says, when was the last time the fat guy was in a PCG? Ooh, that's a really good question. Um, and I don't know. I do not know. Ooh, early material for Pokemon Stop. An early attempt at the cover. That's pretty sweet. Um, when was the last time the fat guy was in a PCG? Um... Wasn't he in one of the Techno Zombies things? Wait, Krillin, you put him in a Techno Zombies game. He was in a Techno Zombies uh, Mobilized, wasn't he? Or at least that's that version of him. So that might be the most recent one. I don't know. All right, well. This is like extra art for Pokemon Stop. So I guess I'll put this in the Pokemon Stop folder. Wait, I did make a Pokemon Stop folder, didn't I? Pokemon Stop, yeah, there it is. It's this red one over here. Let's put this in the back of that folder. There it is. Sketchy Penguin says, I'm back for a little bit. Go to the PCG Reddit. I made a post. Oh, sweet. Let's find out. The first post in over a year on the PCG Reddit. Yes. Let's do a little poll. Which iconic PCG character is the best? Kinkis, Suvac, or Tutorial Bot? Oof. Well, I love Ginkis, but I can't choose my own character. So, I love all these characters. It's so hard. I guess I'll go with Zubac for now. Bam. Whoa, Ginkus got two votes? I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I'm the only one to vote for Zubac. Dang. Well, dude, you guys, like, I barely even talk about Ginkus on this channel. How do you guys even know about him? <laughs> Well, that is awesome. Um, wait, can I give this like an upvote or something? How does Reddit work? I don't know. Oh, well. Wait, there's a comment on this? Ginkus for the win. Yes. Compec says I'm the other Ginkus vote. <laughs> oh, sweet. Thanks, Compec. <laughs> All right, well... Um, this is another folder for Pierre or PCG stuff. You can see we've got lots of like stuff from, Gen this is like the Genesis folder. There's like a script and everything. Genesis is actually available on the PCG shop. So let's just put this in the, um, in the other people PCGs. The other people's PCGs. Actually, let me put these folders towards the end of this. I mean, towards the beginning of this folder. Because, like... So that I can you know, see it. Nah, it doesn't help. It doesn't help. Oh, well. I tried. What you gonna do? Now, this isn't PCG at all. This is just like a random drawing of Batman Beyond I made when I was a kid. Um, Sketchy Penguin says, Krillin, the fat guy was in The Legend of Grand Fresnel. Wait, he was? How do I forget that? Where was he in... Wait... Oh, man. I thought I remembered everything from The Legend of Grand Fresnel. Oh, my gosh. 
And this is uh, art I made when I was a kid of Super Mario RPG, The Legend of the Seven Stars. I love that game. <laughs> but uh, my drawing was, uh, well, I mean, it's kid drawing, kid art. What you going to do? Um, Sketchy Penguin says, I'm, I'm going to try to revive the PCG Reddit. Awesome. Compact Dev says, yes, someone shall do it. I'm going to make you a mod. When I figure out how, awesome. Sketchy Big One says, remember the fat guy screen, Zach? Uh, let's look at it. Should have the file in here. Um, paper computer games. This is gonna bug me. Mm, new PCG folks stuff. Uh, whose folder am I looking at? Sketchy paper. I would have him as Magic Paper Productions, I think. Here we go, Magic Paper. Okay, yeah, I remember that. He's being experimented on. Then you have to sneak around. That's right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. He was he was there. Yeah. Yeah, I remember now. Okay. Okay, we good. We good. Thank you, Sketchy. Um, I inv Compact says I invited you as moderator. You have to accept or something. Wait, me or Sketchy Penguin? Okay, um... Oh, Sketchy Penguin, okay. Alrighty. Hmm. So it's this stuff. Oh. This is like a comic my dad made when I was a kid. Sketchy Penguin says it can be another place to post PCG teasers and such. Also, we might get more people in the community from it. Yeah, totally. Oh, Sketchy. Oh, sorry, I missed it. Sketchy Penguin said, "Zach, do you need to you need to make a community post to get people to join the Reddit?" Okay. I think this is all non PCG stuff, by the way. This is a one page PCG, which is called um, Zuvax Bad Hair Day. This is the one that Chris is suing me over, you know, litigation pending. We're going to have to, we're still awaiting our date in court. So we'll see who wins that one. Krillin says, I found my Techno Zombies comic and I think I want to make a season two. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Krillin, uh, is that the one you posted on the shop already? Because if not, you should post it on the shop. And secondly, you should make it season two. Compact Dev says, I invited you, Zach, a long time ago, back when I made the Reddit. Oh yeah, you were the one who made the Reddit. I forgot. That's awesome. Um, I'll do it again. Yeah, I just need to remember my username. Like, I think I can log in from my phone, but, you know, as you may or may not have noticed, I'm streaming from my phone right now, so it's kind of occupied, but I can figure that out at some point. Like, I can't, I don't remember my password for Reddit. Bad Dollar Sign says, I got that PCG from the PCG shop. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, awesome. Did you play it, Bad Dollar Sign? Um, this is a mini PCG, so I think I'll put it in here. Okay. This is the PCG multiverse as seen in the upcoming PCG, The Lives of Ginkus, which has not been worked on for a long time. Now we're just gonna have like just all these classic PCGs. You've got the Mansion of the Mystery with a thorn on it. Look, that's a thorn. That is clearly a thorn. Don't tell me that's not a thorn. That's a thorn. Ah! <laughs> Krillin says, plus since Techno Zombie season one motion comic, but it was deleted. So I might remake the motion comic with better sound effects. Oh yeah, sweet. That'd be awesome. Why did all that stuff get deleted? I was I've been meaning to ask you, uh, Krillin. What like what, what what happened to all your old videos? 
Um, I'm refreshing the Reddit to see if anything is updated. No, still just three votes. Fair enough. Sketchy Penguin says, Zach, that is clearly a D. It's a thorn! Look at that! It's a thorn. Ds don't have lines going up or above or below. See? Ha! Not a D. Krillin says, yes, Techno Zombies season one is in the PCG sh shop. Yes, it is. Okay. Um. Wait, okay. So this stuff, I'm going to, I'm going to put this all in a, like, I don't know, non PCG folder or something. Or like probably not put it in the folder system at all. I'll just put it upstairs in my art drawer. Um, bad dollar sign says, I don't really play PCGs from the PCG shop because I have no one to play with. So I buy them for inspiration. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that makes sense. You just like check, read the script and look at the art and see what's going on. Sketchy Penguin says, obviously a D. Oh man. Compact Up says, you old hoos? Yeah. Yeah, hoos. Sketchy Penguin says, although I want to play Pokemon Stop with my brother. Oh, that would be awesome. I wonder how many people actually play Pokemon Stop. I wonder if that's like a thing. I wonder if people do that. Excuse me. Krillin says, PCG Theory. In my Battlegrounds PCG, you survive around zombies in Apocalypse World. Could, could Battlegrounds be connected? We don't know. Oh, -ho. like, you never know, I guess. Um, it's certainly possible there's multiple universes that have zombie outbreaks on them. I mean, I'm sure that's not gonna be a singular thing, but it's always possible for it to be connected. You never know. Okay, mm. Sketchy Penguin says, the gears in my theorist mind are turning. Yes. Krillin says, by the way, in the sequel, there are techno zombies. Oh, well, I mean, that clinches it, doesn't it? I mean, I guess not technically. There could also be techno zombies in a universe that's not part of the techno zombies universe. Guess you can't ever really know. For sure. So this... I think this is all one big PCG. Yeah, this is all Descent. The final game starring Pierre, the final game of the Pierre series. It is always possible to make more, but this is like for now the end of her story. It's a pretty big game. And it ties into Balzac Lobotron. Like once like I think this is like the first game ever available on the PCG shop. Um but yeah, like this game ties into um you know, whatever the other stuff is, like uh, Balzac Lobotron, like, like the events of this directly continue into Balzac Lobotron. So, like, that is a thing. Krillin says, by the way, in the sequel, oh, wait, in my Call of Dome 2 game, I wanted to do a collab with Techno Zombies. Oh, man, that'd be awesome. And this is the other game that ties into it, Fried Calamari. But see, this game and this game are kind of parallel games. Because, like, Ari and Pierre get separated on the planet Shree. And if you play this game, Descent, you see what happens to Pierre. And if you play this game at the same time, Fried Calamari, you see what happens to Ari. And then they both re-meet up again in Balzac Lobotron. And this is also a really big game. I put a lot of effort into these two games. Here's fried calamari. Okay. All right. 
Gotta go. Goodbye now. Gotta go. Thanks for joining Compact Dev. Have a good night. Bad dollar signs is what is calamari? Calamari is squid. It's like, um, you know what they call, um, like fried calamari is like some people fry squid and eat it. And so when, when, when you're eating it, it's called calamari. But the, like the title is a joke because like my friend Ari, his nickname is Squid. So the title Fried Calamari implies that this game is gonna like not only beat him, but like cook him alive. <laughs> like this game is so hard. He's just gonna be turned into a fried calamari. Krillin says, I want to clear things up with Techno Zombies comic. It is an adaptation of the PCG in which it isn't canon to the universe. Yeah, I know. What is cool though, Krillin, is that even though it's an adaptation and it's not canon, the name for the city lore that was introduced in your comics became canon to the PCG universe. So now that is the official name for the city that the Techno Zombies game take place in. But yeah. Let's see, then we've got... Should I separate these by series? We've got Alien Invasion. These are all stapled together, so I'll just make quick piles of them. Um, hold on. Wait, where's the tissues? Uh, there they are. Okay. Um, Sketchy Penguin says, Fried Calamari was cool. Krillin says, but Techno Zombies Mobilized is canon. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because it's a, it's a PCG. And yeah. Um, and it like sticks to the, well, yeah, it's canon, it's canon. Anyway, then we've got Revenge of the Mole Men. That's like the sequel to the... So this game, Into the Heart... Yeah, so Into the Heart of the World. In the first game, you go down underground and you meet the Mole Men, and then you destroy their city. So the second game is Revenge of the Mole Men, and you can guess why. Then we've got... Um, should I make them these folders by series? Because like I could go... This is the first Pierre game. And then there's like the second Pierre game. Number one, number two... And then the third one is just Descent. That's the whole Pierre series. It's just a trilogy. So I guess I could make that like a folder for that series. What do you guys think? How should I organize that? Um, then we've got Last of the Zeralta, but that's not going to fit into any series, though. Maybe I should just make like one big classic PCGs folder. I don't know. Because, like, it's hard to really... Like, what series is When Evil Flows in Freeness part of? I don't know. Well, I guess I would put that with the Squids and Far series. So the Squids and Far series is like Ari's Adventures. It's this game, The Ancient Secret Under Shri. The When Evil Flows in Freeness is kind of like its own thing, but then it ties into Squids and Forests. Then there's, like, properly... Um, Squids and Forests is properly the first Squids and Forest game, although it continues from this earlier game, The Ancient Secret Under Shri. Then we've got Further Sylvan Squidisms, which is, the, which is that. And then finally, we have the final Squids and Forests game, which is called Fried Calamari. So then that this would be like a series right here. So this is a series, uh, Squids and Forests. This is a series. So then I guess we could have like a thing for, you know, miscellaneous other PCGs. But then, Blast of the Zerelta going into miscellaneous? I don't know. Krillin says, in my opinion, I think that someone should make a Project Z comic so it could be canon to the PCG universe. Yeah, I agree. Um, I mean, what little we do know to, to uh, Project Z, about Project Z, I, I consider it canon to the PCG universe. But yeah, you're right. We don't have the story of it. So yeah. Um... Someone should make a comic of that, I agree, so we know what happens in it. Okay, so... 
We've got the last of the Zerelta. That's the only Ginkus game so far. We've got Pride and De Death Jujis. <laughs> That's a terrible game. I should have missed just a random game. So is Manipulation. City of Dreams. The Plan. Um... Okay, so, I don't know, guys, what do you think? Um, should I, should I separate them by series like this? I would make a, uh, like a Squids in Forest series folder and a Pierre series folder and an Alien Invasion folder and a Mole Men folder, or should I just make one big folder for classic PCGs? I don't know. Also, pick a color, red, yellow, or blue, for the for the first folder that I make. All right. Well, um, not really getting any um the answer for chat. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make a. Uh, I'm just gonna, I guess I'll start doing it by series. Guess that's the easiest thing to do. Um. Bad dollar signs is all in one folder, color blue, okay. As you wish. Sketchy Penguin says, sorry, I'm busy customizing the PCG Reddit. Oh, sweet, no problem. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, okay, so. In that case, let's see, we've got well, first, let's make the thing. Um, what do I do with my pen? Ah! This is to be called, um, classic PCGs. Cheese. Um, and then we're just gonna put. Um, let's start with the Pierre series. Let's put those two. Sketchy Penguin says. Okay, wait. Um, Krillin says, "Who's the main character for Plants vs. Techno Zombies?" Uh, that would be Doctor Maristem, like the mad scientist who created the plants. Um. You can look her up on the PCG wiki. It's a low quality photo of her, but she's up there. Um, Cause I mean, I think it's just cause Yak uh, screenshotted it from the stream. I need to actually take an actual photo, photo of her, but whatever. Bad dollar sign says, what is that scream? Cause my phone fell. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Sketchy Penguin says, who's still here? Good question. I don't know. Mm. 
Anyway. Let's take the Squids in Forest games and put them here. This will be fine for now. We'll put the Pierre series. Wait, that's the Mansion of Mystery. Let's put the Pierre series games. This is going to be super confusing. They're, they're super out of order. I don't know where they're going to go, but, you know, whatever. Bad dollar sign says me. Sweet. Um... Thanks for still being here, by the way. The mansion of the mansion of mystery, not the mansion of mystery. That's a that's a thorn. <laughs> um, and we're gonna put in here um, the alien invasion games and the uh, the mole men games and city of dreams manipulation. Pride and Death Judas, and the last of the Zerelta. Whew, these are totally out of order, but whatever. We can order them another day. Today, we're just making the folder. drawer is rapidly filling. It is to become the ultimate um, PCG dr drawer, ultimately. I mean, that's the dream, anyway. Um, so, yeah. What's all this stuff? We've got the plan. Chrome training, the new recruit. Um... Welcome to Death Ward Hospital. Alien Invasion. Oh my goodness, there's so many. Just don't. This is going to be too big to fit in a folder. I might have to separate it into different folders. Well, Putzatoni Phil, this is by Chris, so this goes in the Other People folder. Um, other People stuff. Goodbye, Putzatoni Phil. Um,. Oh my goodness, Ox game, Ox shell. Well, this is as classic of a PCG as it comes, so this is gonna have to go in that folder. This is like when I made when I was like eight years old, practically. HMB Tiger says, no, I'm late. Dude, <laughs> listen, this stream is just eternal, it don't matter. I've been doing this like, first of all, this stream has been going on for 163 minutes. So that's like, what, two hours and 40 minutes of this stream. And then there was the stream before it. So this one is gonna go in classic PCGs, but all the way in the back. If I can open this, dang it. Man, views dropping off. Remember that good time when we were at, up at eight views? That was good times. But I guess that shift, that you know, like we're we're shifting. You know, we're we're going from one area to another. You know, you know, like one group leaves, another comes in. Bad dollar sign. This says I was playing Warrior Wear, so I wasn't talking too much. Oh, that's cool. Warrior Wear is fun. I played a little bit of the original Warrior Wear. Well, let me refresh the um, the PCG Reddit and see if Sketchy Penguin has done anything with it. Nope, still the same.
Yeah, I don't know. Bad dog sense says, hey, Tiger Game's still there. I guess not. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, there's not a whole lot going too much. I re uh, I guess I should, uh, I should probably end the stream, but I don't think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna finish um, organizing. But maybe what I'll do is I'll just put the, like, put the, st the uh, phone in a place where it can see what I'm doing. But, like, yeah, so, so that's such that I don't have to, like, keep holding it in my hand. Alright. So, yeah. I'm just going to keep uh, organizing and you guys, you know, uh, talk when you feel like talking and I'll respond. Alright, um, okay, we got Quest for the Vengeful Book. This is one big PCG. Oh, and it has a script. I really should put this on the, um... Bad Dollar Sign says your longest stream is four hours. Nope. I did a five-hour one just the other day. Also, um... Additionally... Um... Additionally... Uh... Whatchamacallit, um, I, uh, like, there's a stream on my channel called Legit Six Hours of, I forget what it is, but it's a six hour stream. So yeah, I think that's the record to beat is six hours. That is the longest I've gone. This folder is just going to be loosely any PCG that's like, that's like loose, it's not stapled together. And the plan. Um, I'm not even going to label it, I'm just going to stick it in here. I want to get this over with. Um... should go in there as well. Um, so and this, these three can go in classic PCGs for now. saying anything wait where's part one it should be up there I mean I did a stream stopped it and then started part two um but I do need a folder for um the lives of Ginkus. Give me a color, you guys. What color should I make the lives of Ginkus? So what is this stuff? Is there any PCG stuff in here? Here, look through this with me. Oops. 
Okay, I'm trying to hold that in my neck and it's really just not working, so I'll just hold it in my hand. Oh, this is a one-page PCG. This is the first um, Spanish language PCG ever made. Casa de Gormón, el matador de los animales. That's like the house of Gorman, the killer of animals. This is my idea for a design on what the PCG, I wanted the PCG official site to look like, which never came to fruition. Chris told me to make something like this, but yeah, this is the idea. Sketchy Penguin says, I added self-assignable user flares to the Reddit. You should check it out. Okay, I don't know what that is, but I will definitely check that out uh, once. Ah, but there's too much stuff on my lap. Hold on. Hold on, let's just get through this first, and then I'll check it out, Sketchy Penguin. Be patient, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, these are the one, th these are parts of the roundabout, though. I feel like, um, this website is gonna go in odds and ends, but these are one-page PCGs. These are parts of the uh, roundabout. The, the Halloween roundabout, I played with Chris in them. Oh, shoot. Check this out. This is the PCG I made for the video, like, what are paper computer games? Remember this? Has any of you guys seen that? Sketchy Penguin says, I remember it. Sweet. Maybe I should put this on the PCG shop at some point. Oh my gosh, yes. This is, oh wait, um. Sketchy Penguin says, do you have the exact hex code color of Zuvax green hair? Uh, no. <laughs> um, I like, I mean, I'm sure in different depictions of Zuvac, he's been slightly different shades of green, you know? I don't think there's, there's, I don't think there's an official hex code or anything like that. But, um, yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, I could maybe, like, what I could do is I could go into the 3D model of Zuvac and check what color it is, but, um, Check out this guy. This is Babo. This is from, um, these are PCGs from the, um, the Spanish language roundabout, the first ever Spanish language PCG roundabout, which you can watch us play in Spanish on um, the Via's channel, PCGs in Espanol. But yeah, um, I think this one might just be some PCG art. I don't think that's anything. Um, this is more roundabout stuff. Uh, this is the one with Grand Fresnel. Uh, here's an inventory screen, I don't know. Here's part of the same roundabout. Another roundabout PCG. So I, guess, I think these are, this is like gonna be a folder of like one page PCGs. Um, and then we've just got this stuff, which is, this is a random PCG, these are random PC, one page PCGs. Okay, so that'll be a folder. These can get recycled. So now that that's done with, um, sort of, let's check out what Sketchy Penguin, you know, um, is doing. On the PCG Reddit. 
Oh, there's 10 members now. Check that out. User flare preview. Oh, hey, there's more posts. Orbit 907 and maybe is taking a while, maybe push to the end of January. In the recent highlight of this, enjoy this cool little teaser. Yes, sweet. Way to go, Sketchy Penguin. Wait, not wait. That's not Sketchy Penguin. Who is that? It made um, Orbit Nine Hundred Seven. I always forget. It's the new person, right? Um, let's see. Um, Orbit Nine Hundred Seven by Eldridge Theater. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Part of the Eldridge Theater universe. It's, and Calico is this guy, a mole man. Huh? We should add category Molman. Guys, if anyone's still there, give me a color. I need a color for the one-page PCGs folder. Red, yellow, or blue. But not blue, because I have too many blue folders already. So just pick red or yellow. Okay, well. It seems like nobody is picking... Wait, Sketchy Penguin is there. He says yellow. All right. Yellow it is. Man, these folders are probably going to be how I store my PCGs for like years and years, yo. So like, you guys are making an impact. Like if, if, if there were different people or no people in this chat, there would be entirely different folders in here. It's kind of weird to think about, right? All right, I should make a label for that. Whoops. Bad dollar sign says, where's Balzac Lobotron? Oh, like the actual PCG? So the thing about that is that the actual um, Balzac Lobotron PCG is actually in this giant like thing over here. The entire PCG is inside of that. Like this has its own folders inside of it. Ah! Sorry. This is where Balzac Lobotron is. All of that, why is there hair here? Okay, but yeah, all of this is Balzac Lobotron. That's where it is. I think I'll, I might put like this Balzac Lobotron thing in one of these drawers over here. Oh wait, man, there's not gonna be room, is there? Shoot. Oh, look at that, there is room. Uh, just the same, maybe I'll put it on the top drawer. Ugh, Cause yeah, this is gonna get stuck on it. Yeah. Maybe these other two, like, folder things, maybe I will put them. Bad dollar sign says, that's humongous. Yes. Yes, oh my God, Balzac Globetron is enormous. But yeah, maybe look, there's this space in between the cabinet and the desk. Maybe I will put these in here. See, this one says current PCGs. Maybe I'll put it like that so I can see it. And this one says this one says recent PCGs. So that's kind of confusing. It's 
not entirely 100% clear which is which. But, you know, whatever. They are in... Oh, I don't like that, though. I have to turn them like this. All right. That's just where that's going to have to be. I made a shell of a wiki page for the PCG Reddit. Sweet. Let's see what you did. PCG Reddit. The PCG is a subreddit created by Compact Dev and moderated by Magic Paper Productions. Yes. We're growing in the list of PCG websites. You've got your PCG Discord, PCG Forum, PCG Reddit, PCG Shop, and a list of websites. <laughs> Which does not have the Reddit on it yet. But still. Sweet. Bad dollar senses, if you think about it, this is the first time we see Zach's house goodly. <laughs> I guess that's true. I guess that is true. It is the first time. And uh, I apologize because you're probably going to be horrified by my house. Like, okay, so let's, let's see. This goes in PCG art. Um, this thing, this website, this goes in odds and ends. Um, so yeah. I'll just put this one in this uh, folder for these other PCGs. I'm going to have to fold them out at some point. Actually, maybe I should make a folder for YouTube only PCGs. Um... Well, I can do that later. Right now, let's see, we've got this. Let's, uh, let's put this in. Let's put this in, um, this here folder. So yeah, um, I think this sketchbook, this is the sketchbook that has um, Plants vs. Techno Zombies in it. Actually, all the Techno Zombies games are in, are in this sketchbook. See, here's the original Techno Zombies. Then later on, we've got... Uh, here's, this is the end of, of uh, Techno Zombies, but then we've got this test. And later on... We, this is Techno Zombies 2. Wait, where's the cover? There's the zombie TV. But yeah, all my Techno Zombies games are in here. Here's Plants vs. Techno Zombies. So yeah, all in this sketchbook. All right, here's a character by Salmon the Fish PCG that I drew from one of his PCGs. So that is the uh, sketchbook. Um, all right. Then let's go through this stuff. I'm sorry this has taken so long. I'm sorry you're, you know, forced against your will to, you know, like, watch this stream endlessly. It's been already 185 minutes. That's, like, 60, 120, 180. So that's actually three hours of just this stream alone, like, not even counting part one. Um, but, yeah, like, let's see. 
Battlegrounds is a mini PCG. I think this is like for the float or whatever. I forget who made this. I mean, I'm thinking the Sonic Activist, but it doesn't really look like the Sonic Activist's art. So maybe JPGS? I don't know. Oh yeah, this totally looks like JPGS's art, I think. I mean, not JPGS, Krillin, sorry. Keep thinking, like, I, it's hard to... Oh yeah, there you go, PXG. Yeah, definitely, there you go. PXG is Krillin, another one of his names. Um, all right, let's, so let's put this in other people's stuff. All right, so I think it's time to go upstairs and get more stuff. Goodness, so many PCGs in here. So many of them. Oh, woo. um, okay, let's just gather these together and we'll just bring them down and we'll go through them down there. Is anyone still there, by the way? It says still two viewers, but no one's saying anything. I know, like, I know you're probably just, like, in the background doing stuff, but, like, yeah, I don't know. Now we're down to one viewer. Oh well. <laughs> okay. This tin is what I use for my PCG stickers. Just dump them all in there. So I can definitely dump this little techno zombie guy in there. Um, as well as this alien dude on a toothpick. I'm just gonna put this under here for, oh, it doesn't fit. Oh, shoot. I still have no choice but to put it on top of the desk, like up here-ish. Okay, well, that is still pretty decent. Um, okay. Okay. So this stuff I'm gonna say just goes in this folder full of like open PCGs. I'm getting tired of this. Yak says I still can't stay. 
But if you're still streaming in 20 minutes, I'll be there. <laughs> All right. Well, sweet. Thanks for that. Yeah, thanks for letting me know. Oh, man. We'll see if I'm still streaming in 20 minutes. My endurance is still... Uh, is uh, shedding rapidly. Also, people aren't saying stuff, so that is not helping. Yak says, good luck in the PCG jungle that is your drawer. <laughs> not no more. Now it's all nice and organized. Woo! Um, ish. You know, at least getting there. Let's see. We've got this envelope is for Zuvac stickers. Yeah, okay. So this goes in the uh, stickers jar. Oh, and look at all these stickers. I think these actually are gonna go back in the um, Techno Zombies. Wait, are they? I don't know. Let's see. Um, if there's a folder for it in here, I'm just gonna put it back in here for now. And we can always do more folders later. There's not, so I'm just gonna throw these in the stickers tin. That is the easiest thing to do. How is there so much PCG stuff to do? If anyone's still watching, check it out, you guys. It's Detune World Plus. Found it. It's a big game. So this is going to definitely go in the uh, other people stuff folder. is the one page PCGs folder. So like, that includes all roundabouts. This is from a roundabout, so this goes in there. Um, oh shoot, this is for Balzac Lobotron. Why is that like, okay, but that, that goes in here. This is my big old folder for Balzac Lobotron. Sketchy Penguin says, Zach, I'm going to make uh, customized upvote, downvote icons. What the, should they be? Ooh, that's cool. Um, I don't know. Um... Someone's up for download icons. Um, is there like, who in PCGs gives like a thumbs up? I don't know. 
I mean, you could always just go like the upvote is like Zuvac and the downvote is like a villain or something. I don't know. Sketchy Penguin says, I'm thinking the fig should be the downvote. Oh my God, I love that. Yes. <laughs> okay, so. Um, yeah, I, I am, I, that is a fantastic um, idea. <laughs> All right, I think this folder is just gonna be like unfinished PCGs. I don't know. Does anyone wanna give me a color? What color do you think it should be? Red, yellow, or blue? Should for this folder. It's gonna have this one, paper computer game. Mercado. Oh, this stuff is all just odds and ends. So, let me just put this in the, wait. No, this one is Mercado. This, so Mercado's gonna go over here for now. Do you have any high quality colored picks of figs? I don't think so. Um, uh, yeah, I don't think so. You know, check with Salman, because, like, he made um, an animated short on figs, and he, he colored it, so he might have an image of it. Although, you know, he made his green, uh, sorry, purple, whereas, you know, figs are traditionally green. But nonetheless, I think that is probably the best picture of a fig, um, you know. But, yeah. Um, okay, this stuff is going in the odds and ends folder. Okay. Okay, ghosts too can go in other people's stuff. And, um, what else we got? I should make a folder just for inventory screens. I think this is my inventory screen for, um, Worlds Collide. Yeah, this is my inventory screen for Worlds Collide by Yak Games. All right, um... Sketchy Penguin says, wait, I thought figs were purple. I always imagined them as green. Um, but I just never really made any, like, any colored art of them. So I guess that was only in my head, so. Um, but no, not just in my head, but, like, whenever anyone played PCGs, I would be, like, if they asked what color were, they would say they're green. But, yeah, like, that, I never told anyone that. So when Salmon made his uh, fig short, he made them purple. Sketchy Penguin says, you learn something new every day. Yeah, true. Bad dollar sign says, bro, I lost Wi-Fi. That's why I wasn't talking. Oh, man, that sucks. I think I'm going to lose it again. Also unfortunate. All right, I'm going to make a folder just for, like, loose inventory screens. Um, You have 10 seconds to tell me what color it should be. 10, 9, 8, so blue, red, uh, blue, or yellow. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ah! All right, it's gonna be yellow. And by yellow, I mean red. <whistles> Sketchy Penguin says red, sweet. So that's exactly the same thing I said. So that's just gonna be uh, loose inventory screens. Let's make a label for that.
DevY says, I'm back. Can't believe you're still streaming. <laughs> um, yeah, I know. I can't either. Thanks for coming back. Bad dollar sign says, I thought figs were green too. Yeah, see? They're green. See? All right. Let's put an E on here so that it's obvious this is inventory. Because, you know... What says inventory like an E, right? Am I right? Okay, so let's... Uh... Man, people are coming back. It's, uh, this, this stream is picking up again. Man, I swear, I'm going to lose so many subs for this stream, though. <laughs> Even though I'm getting a lot of views in watch time. Carletta Lee says, Hi, I'm St. Izzy. I'm just on my mom's laptop. Sweet. Well, uh, welcome back, St. Izzy. Or, well, your name is Joe, right? That's your actual name? Let's see. Um, let's see. Look at that beautiful folder. It says loose inventory screens with an E for inventory. Sketchy Penguin says, like the stream if you're new. Thanks so much, Sketchy Penguin. Much appreciated. DevWise says, Zach gets rated by TGC fans, gets 3,000 views. If only. <laughs> oh, man. Wait, what's TGC? I was thinking TCG at first, but... Nope. Um, what is this stuff? Is this just more odds and ends? That's an inventory screen. Oh, these are just random, like, unfinished PCGs. Yeah, this is, like, all... Ooh, my Star Trek PCG, which I started making a long time ago and never finished. So many unfinished PCGs, yo, guys. Devwide trading card game. Oh, yeah, TCG. Yeah, yeah, Okay, so this is a tissue. So that can just be thrown out. Um, but, uh, yeah. Okay, we're going to start a new folder. We're going to call this um, unfinished PCGs. What, what, what color should I make it, you guys? DevY says, Zach, come on, be like Bobby who finishes his PCG. <laughs> Carletta Lee says, did you get my PCG yet? Yes, I did, Carletta Lee. Thank you. Um, I, I, I did get it. So um, on Thursday, hopefully Chris and I should be able to play it. Um, I, I, I still have to look it over to see how the rules work. Sketchy Penguin says, blue, actually yellow. Okay, yellow it is. Okay, I'm gonna go. Thanks so much for joining us, Sketchy Penguin. You've been around for a really long time, so much appreciated. Man, 204 minutes. It's like a lot of hours. Wait, 60, 120, 180. That's three hours. So it's like an hour, like three hours and 20 minutes. Okay. Okay, so now we just need a thing for this. We're gonna, ah! I turned off my monitor. Okay. Um, all right. I'm gonna turn this back on. We're gonna call this um, unfinished PCG.
You have water, the enemy of my PCG? What do you mean? Oh, PCG fans don't drink or have water, lol. Just kidding. <laughs> I sure do. Listen, water is the only thing I drink legitimately. Like, I mean, okay, I, I, should, I should qualify that. Like, if I'm at a party and there's, like, drinks going around, like sodas or whatever, um, I'll have some. But I will never seek it out. Like, the only drink I seek out is water. Like, if I'm thirsty, water, you know? Always. Why says cause paper go on PCG boom it done it done over you PCG ruin oh yeah that's true if water spills on it I mean if water yeah yeah So we're making a lot of progress. We've got a lot of nice uh, PCG folders in here. This is my new PCG drawer, you guys. This is it. Oh, and uh, Mercado is gonna go in, well, maybe Mercado should get its own folder. Yeah, I'm gonna give Mercado its own folder. Mercado's folder. Dev Y says the way you spell F, it makes it look like R. The way you spell F, it's just spelled F. Okay, I'm gonna make uh, Mercado is gonna be red. Um, Carletta Lee says hot tots or fatty patties. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what either of those are. <laughs> Is someone tagging me in something on Discord? What's going on? I don't know. Doesn't sound important. I closed Discord, so it stops making noises. Okay. Um. So yeah, um, Mercado, that's what we're calling, that's what we're doing with this. Can you just call me Job? Sure, Job. I shall call you Job. Sorry, it's it's hard not to call people what I see their name as. Like, but I will make the effort. Um, PCG or family, pick one. Well, obviously PCGs come before everything, right? I mean, you yeah, know, of course, right? <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> Um, Mercado. This PCG, this one little unfinished PCG is getting its very own folder. important and I want to be able to find it that's why Mercado is the favorite child yeah it is yeah Mercado 
goes right at the very front of the PCG drawer. Mercado Special. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Um, guess we done. Um, I don't know. I mean, I guess the only other thing I could really do is... Um, oh, hey, JC Tunes. How's it going? I know I'm uh, sorry. My hair's my own mess. My room's a mess. Everything's a mess, but whatever. I just streaming. I just streaming. That's how that. That's how this is gonna go. All right. So I have to put this like the PCG multiverse back in the uh, folder for Ginkus's. Uh, you know, like the lives of Ginkus. Not this. I guess the wrong one. Oh, hey, we're up to eight likes. Sweet. Job says, even you're live, JK. What? Let's so, yeah, check out all these PCGs. Like, I have a lot of PCG stuff, do I not? I have a lot of stuff. Lots and lots of things. Muchas cosas. Okay, so let's see. Where is, um... Here's the folder for the Lives of Ginkus. I'm just gonna stick this back in here for now so that everything will be findable. Oh, hey, Yak is back. Back in black is Yak, Zach. What's going on? And, you know, just in case you guys need a little uh, friendly helping of ASMR. I can finally stick around, oh, man. Does that mean I have to actually start doing stuff now? Dang. <laughs> Dang, yo. Dang. But, um, yeah, Yak, um, I think I finished, um, I, like, I just finished, um, Organizing the new PCG uh, folder. Look at all those nice uh, folders in the. Oh, sorry, in this new PCG drawer. Devy says, "Plot twist: Zach Life is a PCG." Oh shoot! Nice shirt, thank you. Says Job. I it, like you know I'm a big Star Trek fan, and Deep Space Nine is a great series. So yeah. Um, I do enjoy the, 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 the shirt, but yeah, um, whoo, I think we're done here. What is this stuff? I mean, this is just a piece of paper, so this is going to get recycled, I guess. Um, what is this? I mean, this is PCG related, but... Oh, this is like a list of everything I had to edit into a video. E-screen, special effects, Indiana Jones, Hugo game footage, Zuvac, Fat Guy, Rich Kid, Tutorial Bot, Pictures, Chris Voices, Boat Coming Ashore. Crust of Phlegm, Tiny Fat Guy from Chris's Games. I think this is from the uh, the first ever PCG video. Dang. Or maybe not. Maybe it's from something else. I don't know. Either way, it's, uh, it's outdated. I'm recycling it. DevY says, have you ever tried Tacky's the Chip? No. DevY says, Zubak, my boy! Yes. Um... Oh, hey, you remember way back in the day I made a video on the eras, the history of paper computer games, and I, like, drew all the different time periods, like Series 1, Series 2. Yak says, why would Cresta Flem have been in the first PCG video, though? So, yeah, that's what makes me think it's not that. But, yeah, we've got Series 2 and then the future. And this whole, like, future era, like, it just says Ghosts, 
you the PCG YouTube channel, Pokemon Stop, Zuvac, Life and Times of a Clown on a Stick. And then I was very excited at the end of this that there were two games at this point made by people outside my friends group. Area 51 by Radioactive Computer Games and Project Z. So this was like me being excited that like new people are starting to exist and I was hoping that would continue. And since I made this, it has. So um, yeah, says I don't remember that timeline. Uh, yeah, let me show you. Um, it should be, uh, yeah, let's go on your channel. This is like a super old video. It's like probably not watch worth watching right now, but, um, yeah, it's called history, history, dang it, hit the wrong key, yeah, see this one, the history of paper computer games, is this even worth watching, I don't even remember, Yeah, because says, no, I meant I do remember that timeline. Oh, shoot, I'm sorry. DevY says, PCG Museum. I would go there. Oh, man, I wish. I wish. DevY says, hey, are you planning to start from... Planning to start from the start and keep on telling the story and lore forever, but not in one video? There's parts it would have been too long. Yeah, um, yeah, I think I am going to make a video at some point where I just tell the entire lore of the PCG universe. Yeah, because it's a pretty good video as far as I recall. Well, let's let's uh, take a quick look at it. Um, I want to see what the quality is like, so we'll see if I need to, like, remake it or whatever. That's what we refer to as now, so. Audio quality bad, because of course. Series 1 started when Chris made his first PCG. We were very little kids. He, we were like... Uh, yeah, because the wiki is, like, somewhat of a virtual museum. True. Uh, 6 and 7 or something like that. We were hanging at, I was hanging out at his house, and he, you know, he made a game, and his game followed the character of Zach. Yeah, because a virtual museum is actually kind of a good idea. You know what? I actually did make a PCG virtual museum one time, or, like, started making it at least, so it does exist. It does actually exist, like a virtual museum that anyone can go explore. I don't remember where it is right this second. I would have to look for it, which I would do off stream, but... If you guys are interested in that, we could, like, revive it, and you guys could try to add stuff to it, you know? Um, DevY says the first PCG is, like, in a glass box with lasers to protect it. <laughs> I wish. The first ever PCG is, like, dead. It's been thrown out. In fact, all of Chris's old PCGs from when we were kids were thrown out by Chris's mom. Like, every single one of them. Except there's, like, two that survived. Just two that we still have. And other than that, the, the ones we have entries on the wiki about are ones that we just, like, remember. But, like, Chris made over 78, probably closer to, like, 100 PCGs back then. And they're all gone. The first one ever is gone. The first appearance of Zuvac, gone. All thrown out. <laughs> Gak says, dang it, Chris's mom. I know! I know! <laughs> It's the most unfortunate thing. I wish I'd thought, you know, I don't know. Um, <laughs> Dev Y says the PCG fans find Chris's mom. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's the most unfortunate thing. Um, I mean, I mean, my parents were the kinds that saved everything, luckily. So I still have PC, like the one PCG I made from that era. Um, Job says, do you play Fortnite? No, I mean, I tried it one time, and it was fun. So, I like, I definitely enjoyed it, but I don't really play it um, regularly. But, yeah. Um, yeah, but, like, Chris's parents were just like, ah, don't see the point. I think they just kept two of them because, like, in case they ever have to, th you know, show it to um, someone to prove that Chris is doing stuff, like, learning stuff through homeschooling or whatever... Like, here's an example of some art that he made or whatever. And no, that's the only reason those two games are survived. But the rest of them, she was just like, well, what's the point? And then he makes them all the time. Just throw them out, you know? So, it sucks. All lost to history. Nate, his first games were just, you know, 
sort of based on real life, but going off into Fantasmus era with uh, Zubak. Very simple Zubak, as it were. He was uh, like a robot. He, he's like on a, on a tripod, and he has this giant green hair sticking out. So that was Zubak, and he was my most prominent ally. I kind of want to remake this, but I don't know. It is a lot of work. I rescued him. He was originally built by the company, but I rescued him. And he acts as my parents hate throwing away my old stuff. Awesome. That is a... Uh... That's 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 the correct way to do to be. Now he he's been helping me fight them. He's he has become one of the longest running characters in Fate of Computer Games. I'll probably make a video about him at some point. During this time, I kind of tried my hand at making my. I did make that video on Zubac. Yeah, because they have to have records of everything I ever did to sleep at night. Oh man, that's awesome. Devil Eye says. Point of view, you saw Zuvac use his hair to cook food. <laughs> oh man. Uh that would be that would be quite a PCG. Whoo! Man, this stream is 222 minutes long and two seconds. That is what? 60 is one hour, 120 is two hours, 180 is three hours. Um uh, 240 would be three hours. So we're like in 20 minutes, this stream will be three hours long. <whistles> Devwai says Zach crafts arms and legs into Zuvac. <laughs> I've been known to do it. I have been known to do it. Oh, man, but I'm running out of energy fast. I think it might just be time to, uh, you know, straight up just end the old stream, you know, you guys. Unless you guys have any uh, last-minute comments, questions, suggestions, anything you would like to see, you know, I don't know. The thing is, like, this is my, one of my f few uh, phone streams, so, you know, it's hard to show stuff. Devwise says, Zuvac is the number one coolest PCG. Like, you mean the character or my PCG of him? Um, for the Dev says meme review. Yak says, all right, if you're done, you're done. Like the pants. <laughs> Thank you. Pajama pants. Um, I'm just lazing around the house today. But yeah, um, oh, I, um, wait, let me put this in the odds and ends folder. One last folder pudding. Um, Wait, wait, is this a loose inventory screen? Oh man, this is going in. Um, this is going in the folder for loose inventory screens. Then we, this is going in the folder for odds and ends. I'm proud of this. I finally have a place to put my PCGs without them just piling up in random places. Um... Oh, shoot. Sorry. Guess stream not over. Never mind. Abort. Abort. The yeah, axes. I love that you have a folder for loose inventory screens. Well, you know, got to put them somewhere. <laughs> I mean, there's a bunch of them. So, um, yeah, like, Yak, by the way, uh, the first uh, screen that's in the loose inventory screens folder, I believe is the one for Worlds Collide New Waters. Right, this is it, right? There's a radio, universal tool, soup of slowness. It's soup, so like that suggests Zuvac deck. Yeah, check that out. That's 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 Worlds Collide. That is straight up Worlds Collide. <laughs> Dev Devwise's proud, Zach. Let's go. All right. <laughs> um then let's see. I have uh I seem to have found Minecraft oil. So that is going to go in our PCG minis folder. I'm going to put it towards the front of the folder along with... Uh, uh, if I could find it, dang it. Along with Pokemon Stop, Keys, and Dark Triforce Bleed. There it is. Yeah. That's where you go. 
Yak says, yeah, that is, in fact, the World's Collide inventory screen. Indeed. Job says, soon you're going to marry a PCG? It's going to happen. Don't, uh, don't doubt it. Yak says, the new digital attack systems should be much more engaging. Interesting. Um, Dev Y says, Zuvac card game with different version of Zuvax. Yeah, that's... Uh, Yak says, I remember it being super basic and not very fun in the beta. What, just where you play Zuvac games with everyone? I thought that was fun. <laughs> um, or are you talking about a different system that I haven't experienced yet? Um, let's see, what is this? PSOJ 318.5-22. Oh, yeah, this is the, um, the Alien Adventure PCG. Clouded Hopes. So, yeah, let's... Uh, Let's put this all up in there. Ow! I don't know what, I just like moved my leg in the wrong way and it like cramped. Yaks is the digital attack part in particular when you had to destroy their firewall. I did? I don't even remember that. I had to destroy their firewall. I just remember playing everyone in Zubac card games. Um... I don't think I made it that far. Like, I was just exploring the underground Yaks place. I ran away from any serious trouble. And then all the Yak people, like, uh, they were just, like, um, they were just playing me in Zuvac, the trading card game. I mean, there was, a, there was a place with a radio I broke into, but I think I had to escape. Because, like, there were, oh, I think there was, like, a fighting system that wasn't ready yet. Anyway, yeah, let's put this in this... This folder for just like random open PCGs. Let's put this towards the front. There we go. Yeah, because it's probably the reason you don't remember that is because it wasn't notable. Eh, this could be. Which could be seen as a good thing, but it's mostly a bad thing. Devwise says, how do you make a PCG... That makes a free option? What do you mean? Job says, my sister wants you to say her name. Lovely? Her name is Lovely? Well, in that case, there you go. I have said it. <laughs> Hello, Lovely. Um, Devwai says, like you make it when the player says, I want to do this, but you have no paper of this action. Wait, what? Like you make it, then the player says, I want to do this, but you have no paper. Oh. Oh, I see what you're saying. So, like, how do you make a PCG that has options so that, like, when, you know, the player says, I want to do this, but there's no screen for that? Like, if they say, hey, I'll go over to the nearest city, you know, in the distance, and there's no screen for it. Well, I mean, what you do is, like, I mean, the, really, your only two options are you could, um, you could just, uh, like, Dev Y says, I want my PCG to feel free, not what is drawn. Okay, so yeah, if you didn't care about f it feeling free, you could just be like, Okay, like, you can't go there. Just make up something that happens to you to stop you from going there. But I don't think you want to do that. You want your PCG to feel free. Uh, so, yeah. Um, Device says speedrun drawing it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, just draw a new screen. They say, I'll go over there. Okay. I guess your two options are you either draw a screen right there on the spot or you just describe it. Uh, either way is fine. You know, it depends on the situation. Like, sometimes, like, there will be, be times where it'll be like, okay, some the guy says, okay, I'll go, over, I'll go into, I'll, I'll find a shop or whatever. And you say, okay, you find a shop. It's, uh, you know, there's a shopkeeper. He's selling, you know, whatever, whatever. So, um, so, yeah, um, so, yeah, you could just describe what happens if it's simple, if it's not important. If it is important, you can make a whole new screen. And sometimes that can take the whole PCG on a whole new, like, direction. I mean, I think, like, Kurt one time, like, I, when I played uh, his PCG, I, like, got a different solution than a different player. When somebody else played it, 
they tried something else. And so Kurt was like, I'm just have to draw a whole new game for them, basically a whole new set of screens because like I had rescued the dinosaur dino and he and the other player didn't. So that leads to totally different outcomes. So you have to draw totally different screens as a result of it. So yeah, it's just whatever you feel like doing. But yeah, like like Chris is definitely speedrun drawing screens. So have I. It's there's definitely nothing wrong with it. Um, but yeah. Um. <laughs> Yak says, Zach, I want you to say my name. The best PCG master in existence. Well, there you go. Best PCG master in existence. Your name has been said. <laughs> Dev Dev Y says same thing with Zuvac. Yeah. Yak says PCGs are kind of built on freedom in the first place. Um Dev Y says if you never tried getting Zuvac. Oh yeah, yeah, true. If I like imagine if I had never tried getting Zuvac. I mean that would lead to a whole different timeline, a whole different PCG history, a whole different universe, right? You'd have to remake the entirety of paper computer games. <laughs> or I guess not the entirety, but you know, you'd it would start like an alternate universe. Um Yak says, so the more basic you make it, the more free the PCG usually feels. True. The harder you try to manufacture a feeling of freedom, the harder it is to make the game feel free. Very true. That's a very good point. Like the more of a game you make, the more areas you create the less free it is because they have to stay within those areas, you know, but if it's basic and simple, then it just feels like they can do anything. Yeah. That is an interesting point. Um, so yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Whew. All right. Am I going to actually wait? I was about to say, am I going to actually end the stream? But how can I do that when there is very clearly Carletta Lee's, or I'm um, sorry, Job says, why is his name Zuvac? I have no idea. <laughs> Neither me nor Chris remember how that happens. And we're not even entirely sure if Zuvac is really his name or if we forgot it and sort of half remembered. Because there was definitely a point where, you know, like, in fact, after the first time, like, Zuvac appeared, you know, um... Chris came over to my house. We were like, what was that? Like, that guy you created last time. That guy was awesome. What was his name again? And they're like, oh, what was it? And we were trying to remember it. And the name we came up with was, like, something like Zuvac. We we're like, yeah, like, Zuvac sounds so cool. That has to be it. And, like, I think one of us thought that was the name, but the other one thought it wasn't. So we're not 100% sure on that one. But either way, Zuvac is a good name. And, you know, there was even another time after. Like, I mean, even more recently, like... It's been so many years since we played PCGs, it's entirely possible that the name we were using for all those years isn't Zuvac. It might have been slightly different. I don't know, but either way, Zuvac is what stuck, so it may or may not be his original name. We're not 100% sure. Um, DevY says, like, when you buy a PCG, does it come to your house, or is it... Oh, um, no, you just get the... Um, like, when you get a PCG on the PCG shop... It, it like it doesn't come to your house it's just it's just a digital download you just get the digital download and you download it and then you can print it out or do whatever you want with it um do you play it in slides what do you mean slides anyway clearly i cannot end the stream when there is a still a one page pcg to be put away i'm not sure if i remember what game this is from but whatever we're putting this in um, this uh, this here one page PCGs folder. Okay, and let's see this Zuvac Pro. Yeah, that's Zuvac. Zuvac, the life and times of a clown on a stick. Buy now for 500 PCG. <laughs> yes, indeed. All righty. Um,
Where is Zuvac, the life and times of a clown on a stick? Here is Zuvac, the life and times of a clown on a stick. Hold on. Making progress. DevY says, looking at all your PCGs, my own would be the best. So much PCGs. I know. So much PCGs, and they're so, so epic. So many of them. All right. Let's go back upstairs. Hey, Yak, you still around? Just out of curiosity. Oh, hey, it's another loose invent. Oh, my gosh, how could I forget? Well, first of all, the uh, $100 is going back inside the... Uh, Former PCG folder. What is this? I don't know. Wait. Let's just. Okay, right. Okay. We good. Oh. Um, yeah, systems. Yeah, I'm still hanging out. Sweet. Job said my sis said that. Uh, said that's a long name. Wait, what's a long name? What did I say? Oh man, I wish I remembered. Um. DevWise says sells PCG as a NFT. We get a lot of money. What's an NFT? Um. Oh, hey, it's the inventory screen for um, my first PCG, the alien abduction. That's pretty sweet. So okay, so we got to bring this down. We got to bring this down. Oh, check it out. It's the perfect one comics by my dad. I think that goes in the PCG folder, wouldn't you say? This is just random art, I guess. So it's not PCG related. Uh, just random stuff, not PCG related. Yeah, okay, so. Non-fungible tokens. What exactly are non-fungible tokens? Yak says, oh man, NFTs are a whole thing. I'm surprised you haven't come across them. Listen, dude. Listen, dude, I'm like, I'm like mad, I'm like mad boomer right now. <laughs> I don't know anything about anything. You don't want to know? DevY says true NFT and PCG would be crazy. Would it? Oh my goodness. Oh man, check this out. Twenty eighteen in paper computer games. Made this for a video, I guess. Oh, uh, Job says Zuvac, the, the life and times of a clown on a stick. Yes, that is a very long name. She is correct. Um, but um, what can I say? I'm kind of a fan of long names. Kind of, kind of, kind of like making them that way. Um, okay. So this stuff is all paper computer game related. So I think it is safe to say that it may or may not be time to bring this stuff downstairs. Ooh, we're almost done, you guys. We're getting there. The cash drop's crazy. Hopefully. Oh, wait, look, it's my Nintendo Switch. Check that out. Hmm. Oh, 
Okay. So, um, Job says, nice, me too. Sweet. Okay, first of all, let's like just dust this page off a little bit. It is a little bit dusty since it's been sitting there since 2018. DevY says you can sell it and be labeled the owner, but the person who bought it owns a copy of it. Interesting. That's cool. Yak says I didn't know you had a Switch. I do indeed. Knowing you're a big Zelda guy, have you played Breath of the Wild? Yes, indeed I have. Let me tell you, Yak. Um, I have played Breath of the Wild, and I quite enjoy it. Uh, it yeah, Breath of the Wild is... Super intense. It's so big, so much to explore. Obviously, I, I mean, like, you know, it's a uh, it it gets a lot of renown for a very good reason. Um, so yeah, I I I I I I played Breath of the Wild quite a bit. Um, I beat the game and I I got every single shrine. Um, all 120 shrines. I didn't get all the Koroks, but uh, you know. Getting all the shrines, that was my that was my benchmark. Like when I got that, I'm like, alright, alright, I'm happy. There's like a bajillion Koroks. It's like unbelievable like hard to get them. And there's like no reward for getting all of them. So it's like, well, <sighs> there's just way too many. You know? I don't know. Um Yeah, uh DevWise says I have a Switch. What games do you play? See, I actually play Breath of the Wild on my Wii U, but, like, because I got it before Switch came out, I guess. But, like, um... Yeah, like, for Switch, I have, um... What do I have for Switch? Uh... Let's see. I have Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for Switch. Though I don't really play because I don't have anyone to play with. Um, I play... Um, wow, I'm totally drawing... A, it's been See, it's been a while since I played my Switch. Uh, like, I have games for it. It's just... Oh, I played uh, Super Mario Odyssey. Um, that was fun. Um, I played... Uh, you know, the... The, the, what else did I play? Dang it. All right, I, I, I hate this. I'm very annoyed with myself. Um, Yak says, what's your favorite Zelda game of all time? Really good question. Um, you know, I might still have to go with Ocarina of Time. Like, even though it's a very simple, very dated by today's standards, but they really make use of what they had, of, like, this limited, like, hardware. And, like, they, they like, it's the most story-intense Zelda, you know, I think in a lot of ways. I think Ocarina of Time was just really, really well done, and that's the one that got me into Zelda games to begin with, was Ocarina of Time. And, um, yeah, Majora's Mask, also, also incredibly, incredibly good. So, um... Yeah, like, I don't know. I love all the Zelda games. And, you know, Breath of the Wild is also giving, you know, Ocarina of Time a run for its money, but in a totally different way. And I feel like Ocarina of Time is, like, the master of story, you know? And whereas Breath of the Wild is so big and expansive and explorable. So, yeah, I don't know. It's, um... Yeah, um... Dev, why is this Switch case of Breath of the Wild? Yeah, I don't have it. I, I, I have Breath of the Wild for Wii U, not Switch. Job says, what if you made a dragon PCG? Then that would be awesome. <laughs> That's what that would be. Yak says, oh, wow, how long must that have taken? Like, hours on end of Zelda? A lot, yeah. <laughs> all, you mean just to, to, to get all the... Um, all the shrines in Breath of the Wild? Yeah, a very long time, like... Probably played it for like 60 hours, I guess. Um, Devil Eye says Zelda PCG would be like 500 pages long. Hey, you know, there, like, there's such a thing as a Zelda PCG. You know, it exists. Job says, do you live in a trailer? <laughs> no. May look like that by the level of messiness, but no, I do not live in a trailer. Um, Devil Eye says, I have a Nintendo Switch case and it's Zelda Breath of the Wild. That's awesome. 
Yak says, I've heard there's something like 200 hours of content, which is insane. I mean, I guess it depends. Well, well, like, what counts as an hour of content, you know? Like, if you're running around randomly, like, just, like, looking for stuff to find, yeah, like, there's probably more than 200. Well, I mean, like, it depends, like, how good you are, right? Like, it, like, it takes, like, sometimes it can take five hours to find what you're looking for, you know? Like, to find, but for another person, it could take one hour, you know? So, I don't know. Breath of the Wild is just an absurdly big world, and there's, like, so much stuff in it. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, well, let me turn my music back on. But yeah, yeah, Breath of the Wild is intense. I can't wait for the uh, sequel to Breath of the Wild. I mean, that is taking forever to come out. But, you know, when it does, I'm definitely going to do stuff with it. I want to make a Zelda, a proper Zelda PCG at some point, you know? Like, um... Yeah, Dev, Dev Y says, are you going to sleep after stream or are you going to go, going to do work? I think after stream, I'm just going to chill and like watch TV for a bit. Like maybe eat a proper dinner. Like legitimately, the only thing I've eaten today is blue chips. That's legitimately it. That's, 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 that's all I've eaten. Yak says, I feel like sequels to games like that are never the best. They usually seem to be cash grabs. Like, listen, first of all, like, every Zelda game is good to some degree. Like, there's Yax is an almost direct copies. Even if it was an almost direct copy, yeah, like, they could take the same engine and just, like, a new world and, like, just, the, you know, like, add new stuff to that. I'm fine with that. I'm still going to have a lot of fun with it, you know? Like, I don't even care if it's a direct copy, you know? It's new stuff to explore and new, you know, but using similar mechanics. Cool. I'm into it, you know? Um, I mean, I may not like that as much as a new, brilliant, groundbreaking game, but hey, you know, it's still fun to play. I'm still gonna, you know, it's still Zelda puzzles and goodness, you know, I'm gonna play it. Um, also, as for it being a cash grab, I mean, if you want to get technical about it, everything is a cash grab. Every video game you make, I mean, is made to make money, right? Like, there is no other reason. That is why any company makes anything, is to make money, ultimately. Um, so, so yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't distinguish between cash grabs and non-cash grabs because, like, they all are, <laughs> you know? Everything is a cash grab. I mean, we tend to think of things that we like as, like, you know, gen more genuine and things that we don't like as cash grabs, but it's a bit, I don't know, it's a bit more complicated than that, you know? Um, Job says, are you going to make Techno Zombies 2? I did make Techno Zombies 2. Like, Techno Zombies 3 is out there. Um... You can see me play it on the channel with Salman. I don't think it's up on the PCG shop, but it's out there. It exists. It exists. I should put it on the PCG shop. Anyway, where should I put the um, uh, Perfect One comics? You guys, what folder do they go in? Oh, hey, Compec. Compec's back. Compec says, ah, no. Why? What's wrong, Compec? Is it that I'm still streaming after like a billion hours? Can someone send me the Discord link? I left the server on accident. Oh, shoot. Uh, yeah, let me do that right now. <sighs> Job says, oh my god, yeah. Um, okay. So let us see. Uh, Copy. All right, let's um, send this to Compact Dev. Paste. Enter. There you go. Okay, so. Um,
Yeah, so what am I doing? Yes, I'm so happy I found this still. Oh my gosh. Earlier in the stream, I found this. I'm, I'm super happy. Complex is saying, thanks, Zach. You are very welcome. Got to it first, Dev, Dev Y. Yeah. Yeah, so this... Guess which PCG folder this is going to go in, you guys. Is this going to go in the Balzac Lobotron folder? This is, the, this is like all the items you were seeing before, by the way. The, um... You know, like... The tapping wand and, you know, just like all this stuff. But, yeah. Any guesses? Ah, you guys take too long. This goes in the folder for Mercado. Yes. There you have it. This... I mean, it's a loose inventory screen, but I actually know the game it's a part of, so I'm actually going to put this in classic PCGs. Oh, man. Okay, so how many hours have we been doing this? Dev Y says Mer Mercado is sus. How is it sus? Did you see Mercado venting? Did he uh, take too long to complete a task? <laughs> and that's the new PCG drawer. So yeah. Um, I think that's all I got. That's all that wait, I didn't put this in a drawer yet. Wait, 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 wait. Let's make a folder for the perfect one. Guys, one last time, give me a color, give me a color. Are we going to do red, yellow, or blue folders? I'm going to need a color, you guys. I'm going to need a color. Yak says red. All right, red it is. Last folder of the day. And this red folder is to be the folder for the Perfect One comics. Dev Y says blue. Shoot, is the do we can we get a tiebreaker or sh otherwise I'm just gonna go with Yak because he said it first. But Job says when you're playing my PCG, can you say my name in a nostalgic voice? <laughs> wait, wait nostalgic is that like a mix between mystical and nostalgic? Devil voice is never mind red. Okay, there you go, red it is. What are we going to call this folder? I think we are going to call it um, comics, PCG comics. That voice says do a British accent. Oh man, I'm not good with accents. That's so I don't know. I have to read something to do an accent. And it's not gonna be great. I warn you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna you know, uh, eviscerate it. But okay. Thorn or thorn is a letter in the Old English Gothic, Old Norse, Old Swedish, and modern Icelandic alphabets, as well as some dialects of Middle English. It was also used in a medieval Scandinavia, but it was later replaced with the dip with the digraph th, except in Iceland, where it survives. Okay, there you have it, my terrible British accent. Hashtag Zach is British confirmed. Yak says, also you mentioned your blue chips earlier. Is that a type of chip or just what you call them because of the color of the bag? No, it is actually a type of chip. Look, see, it says blue chips. Um, and see, they're blue because the chips are actually blue themselves. They're made out of blue corn. See, blue chips. Um, so yeah. Um, 
All right, yeah, I was about to make the uh, thing. Okay. P, C, G. Yeah, because I've never heard of blue chips before. I mean, you should try them. They're pretty. I mean, they're not. They're nothing special or anything. They're not like, a whole, like, a whole lot different from regular like corn tortilla chips. But they are. I mean, like that's the thing. It's like the same thing, just a different color, basically. It just. I mean, they are tasty. They're all salty. You know, whatever. They're chips. Job says, mm, "Want some?" Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, it says, sounds like something kids at school would make you search up that would scar you for life. Uh, <laughs> comics. Hey. Sorry, keep dropping the phone. PCG everywhere, even on your label. Yep, you know it. Job says, how old are you? Oh, I'm an adult. I'm like 36. PCG Comics. And there we have it. I think I'm just gonna put all the rest of the folders just in the back for, there for now. So we always have the option to add more. Blues. Yellows. And reds. Okay. Devoy says PCG dad would be epic. <laughs> Wait, PCG con? Like a PCG convention? Oh man, that would be the best thing ever. But yeah. Uh, Yak says, I love how Zach says, I'm like 36, as if he's leaving it open-ended and doesn't know his own age. Okay, let me be more specific. I am 36. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> oh. So yeah. I guess now is as good a time as any to end the stream, unless you guys have any last minute questions, comments, things. Compex says, also, Zach, you still didn't chose your board game collection. Oh, true. Let's do that now. If I can uh, get past this whole. Uh, Dev Y says so British accent, please. Oh, God. So, yeah, um, here's my board game collection. We got Pictionary, Where in the World is Carmen San Diego, Baldur. I haven't played like any of these since I was a kid. Monopoly, New York City edition. <laughs> yeah, it says, eh, I'm like 36, but that's up to interpretation. <laughs> Dev voice says someone clip it. We've got, I don't even know what that ancient Egyptian game is. Trivial Pursuit. Quien es quien? Identifica la cara misteriosa. Wow, I don't know why I have a Spanish game, but that's awesome. <laughs> Puzz 3D, like a three dimensional jigsaw puzzle. We've got Clue, the great museum caper. That's not normal Clue, that's a different kind of Clue. We also have regular Clue. I think that's up here. Yeah, there's Clue. And there's Guess Who. Which I guess Ken is Ken is like the Spanish version of Guess Who, I guess. I don't know. 
Then there's a uh, Payday. I have no idea what that is. Scrabble. Code of Color. Oops. This is Star Trek The Next Generation Interactive VCR Board Game. That game is hilarious, you guys. Oh my god. Like, they legitimately have, like, an old VHS, like a video cassette, and you have to put it into your TV, and, and, and like, this guy, this Klingon guy, yells at you while you're trying to play the board game. He's, like, legitimately, like... He's like, ah, you have failed. You haven't made it. The, the, like, I will stop you before you make it to the bridge. Ha <laughs> ha. So now I'm putting up force fields everywhere. Ha ha ha. And then he just signs off. And then you go back to playing the video game. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. Anyway, what's chat saying? Dev, why says someone clip it? Clip what? What'd I do? I do something? Oh, man. So anyway, yeah. I got this Legend of Zelda chess set. That was a gift from Ari. Compact says, wow, they sound so cool, but I haven't heard about most of them. Really? Well, you know, now you have. Oh, there's leverage. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's just an Estes model rocket. Job says, would you like to hear a joke? Sure. Sketchy Penguin's back. Hey, welcome back, Sketchy Penguin. Anyway, yeah, here's my Zelda collection. Here's my, like... Superman collect comics and my other DC comics. It was like, you know, the flash over here. And then over here, there's green lantern. This whole area is green lantern over here. And, uh, yeah, that's my, uh, that's my stuff. Sketchy Think Penguin says, Film Theory just posted. Oh, that's sweet. Did he make a theory about PCG? Wait. <laughs> well, you have cool comics. Thank you. So do you like Marvel or DC? Uh, I'm more of a DC guy. I, like, I've only gotten, like, as you can see, I'm more of a DC guy. I've got, you know, that is all Superman over there. All Superman. Superman, Superman, Superman. That's Green Lantern. Up here we've got like some of the Flash. Up here we've got Batman. Up here we've got like Justice League and you know stuff like that. Just all sorts of DC comics up here. So yeah, um, Marvel. I only got into Marvel. Like I never really knew much about the Marvel universe. I could never like get into it as a kid. Um, I only like got into Marvel more recently when the movies came out and I started saying like, oh okay. Like, like, this is actually pretty cool. I'm like, so, um, I, yeah, I mean, I've like, so don't get me wrong. I like Marvel. Like I'll, I'll, I'll watch all the Marvel movies when they come out and, you know, some of the TV shows as well. Like I've seen, like, I think some of the Netflix ones, Jessica Jones, Daredevil, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, like in terms of reading comics, like I'm, like, I'm still fundamentally a DC guy. Like, so I'm much more DC than Marvel. Um... Complex says, who is it? Who's what? Yak says, what's the coolest comic you own? Oh, God, I, I have no idea. The coolest comic I own. Oh, my God, I have no idea. There's so many choices to choose from. Um, Sketchy Penguin says, I really like old Avengers slash Spider-Man comics. Nice. Dev Wise says, British accent, please. If I must... But I need, like, it's hard to do it without, like, text to read. Give me text to read and I'll do it in a British accent. I don't know why that makes it easier for me. But, um... Sketchy Penguin says, I don't know if you've answered this before, but have you seen the new Spider-Man movie in theaters? No, uh, no, uh, because... I just, I guess just COVID concerns. You know, my, I, I live with my parents. They're both, uh... They're both very, uh, you know, um, they're a lot older than me. Let's just say that. And, uh, like one of them at least is immunocompromised. So I would worry about, you know, catching the virus and giving it to them. So, um, I'm, I, I'm not like anything that's exclusive to movie theaters. I'm not going to watch right now, which really sucks. Cause I would really like to see the Spider-Man movie. That looks really cool. Um, but, um, yeah, it's, it's very frustrating. Um, Compact says, all right, I really should be sleeping right now. Goodbye. All right, thanks so much for joining, Compact. Have a great night. Sketchy Penguin says, read this in British. Careful spot of tea. 
Oh. Oh, yeah, I'll do my best. <laughs> my lord, Marvel is far superior to DC. I despise Superman. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, stay safe, Zach. Thanks, Sketchy Penguin. You too. Um, especially now with uh, Om Omicron, like, just, there's so many cases in New Jersey, like, where I live, like, oh, my man, look at this. Like, I mean, I guess it's like, it's the holiday, um, uh, let's see, NJ coronavirus cases. It's like the, the holiday bump, you know, whenever there's a holiday, there's like a big bump in coronavirus cases, but then on top of that, you know, Omicron just got here. So bam, like cases are exploding where I am in New Jersey. Um, like here we are for months and months and months, we're getting like only 2000 cases per day in New Jersey. And then bam, we're up to, oh, hey, we're actually going back down. Let's zoom in a little bit on the last like month. Yeah, it looks like we're starting to slow down there a little bit, but yeah, we went up here for like, there was like, some of these days, 33,000 cases in a day. So it's like, well, on average, up to like 27,000 cases per day. Like, dude, dude, that's a lot of cases. So, yeah. Uh Dev Y says I'm in New Jersey too. No way. That's awesome. Um... <laughs> Uh, Job says, daughter, mommy, can we go to grandma's? Mom, of course we can, honey. They killed themselves. What? What? What's going on right now? And you know, yeah, like a lot of people are from New Jersey. It's crazy. Like, didn't Anstar East say he was from New Jersey too? Man, like, I mean, I guess that's two people, <laughs> but still. That's a lot more than I was expecting. Like, you could have been from anywhere on the planet, you know? But, um, yeah. So, I don't know, Dev Y says, um. So, yeah, got this new cool desk. It's pretty cool. Pretty excited to have it. Maybe I shouldn't be resting my feet on my new, brand new desk, but I am. That's the way it's, uh... Dev Wise says, have you been to Six Flags? Yeah. I mean, when, when I was a kid, the thing is, like, I'm, um, I'm not great with, uh, Yak says, no, I think at least three people have said they're from Jersey. Really? Dude. We should have, like, a New Jersey event. We should have, like, a thing where, like, well, first of all, everyone from New Jersey should come see my planetarium shows. Just saying. Like, you know, they're like, they're like, if, if you're from New Jersey, have you heard for, of Liberty Science Center? Because if you have, wait, maybe I shouldn't, I shouldn't talk about that. Um, <laughs> whoops. I think I'm not, I think I'm like not allowed to talk about work on my YouTube. Like they specifically told me not to do that. So I shouldn't do that. But just saying, you know, at an unspecified location in New Jersey, there is a, you know, planetarium which may or may not be the biggest one in the Western Hemisphere. Um, and uh, yeah, that uh, that uh, planetarium is the one I work at. So if anyone wants to come see my shows there, you can. <laughs> so yeah. Um, Yak says, and your audience is predominantly English speaking. So the sample size doesn't necessarily include the whole world. That's true. But like the, think of how big the English speaking like world is that first of all, just America alone, like the chances of someone being in the same state out of like 50 states, you know, is pretty low, you know, plus there's like more populated states like, you know, <laughs> sketchy penguins as Zach loses his job. <laughs> Yeah, let's uh, let's uh, let's keep that one on the DL, <laughs> I guess. Um, the access I can imagine Zach's boss attentively watching the stream, waiting for Zach to mention the planetarium. <laughs> I somehow doubt that's the case. <laughs> Devwise says Zach sells PCGs for a living, though. Now, uh, no. <laughs> First of all, all the PCGs I put up on the PCG shop for free. I mean, there are, like, like there is merchandise you can buy in the PCG shop. That costs money. 
But legitimately, one person has ever done that besides me. One. Just one person. And it was Salman the Fish PCG. He, 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 like, he bought a Zuvac t-shirt. That's it. That is the only person who has ever purchased any merch. <laughs> so, I would not exactly call that a living. Uh, Yak says, I've got him. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. My boss. <laughs> now, my boss is really cool. My boss, I, 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 I have... I, I, like, I, I know I shouldn't talk about work, so we're just going to pretend this is a generic, you know, non-specified location, but yeah, my boss is a rare, very cool boss. Uh, he is, oh yeah, that's all, that's all I'll say. Very cool boss. Um, want to buy one for real? The sketchy penguin says, nah, Zach has this thriving business. Do I? <laughs> oh, a striving business. Oh, whoops. Misread that. Um, it is striving. Maybe one day it'll be a legit business, but, um, yeah. Dev Y says, I want to buy one. Oh, thanks so much, Dev Y. Well, I mean, feel free. Go to the PCG. I mean, like, it's on, um, like, if you go to, uh, if you go to papercomputergames.com. Oh, Sketchy Penguin says, I meant thriving. All right, sweet. Yeah, if you, like this is papercomputergames.com, then you can just click on shop to go to the shop. And then if you scroll all the way down to the very bottom, that's where you can find the PCG merch. You can get like a t-shirt, you can get a mask, you can get socks. So far I haven't added a lot of good merch. It's all just like, it's all just Zuvac. Zuvac t-shirt, Zuvac mask, you know, Zuvac key ring, but if you guys want anything in particular, let me know and I can I can like add it. Um, Sketchy Penguin says I made the PCG Reddit look pretty cool. Oh sweet! You need to add the Reddit URL to the PCG website. All right, yeah. Um, I I mean I don't have control over the PCG website so, uh, that only Chris does, so I will tell him to um, I will tell him to do that. Um, let me let's check out the uh, like. <laughs> Job says, me too, Zuvac, yes. All right, but yeah, um, let's check out the um, the PCG Reddit. Oh, this is where the upvotes are. Let's upvote that, let's upvote this. Let's upvote my own thing. Let's upvote that. Well, it's green now. Oh, it's green like Zuvac's hair. Oh, that's why we're asking about it. Nice. Let's see, we've got filter by flare, rules, moderators. Am I one of them? Oh no, I'm not. Check that out. It's Baldage, who's Baldage? And Sketchy Penguin. That has to be a uh, compact, right? Um, wait, uh, Dev Y says, my cousin says he wants to learn making PCGs. Can you tell him how? Um, yeah, just like, just like draw a picture, just like be like, you know, just, you just draw a situation, like put a character in the middle of it. Like, so let's say, for example, you're drawing like a jail cell and then you just say like, okay, this is you. You're in a jail cell. What do you do? You know, and then the player plays it like by saying, oh, um, I'll, uh, I'll try opening the door. So yeah, you just, uh, you just play around with it. Uh, Job's, uh, wait, um, Sketchy Penguin says the Zuvac model would be the one I want the most. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, we have to make a better, better version of this because this one, um, like I have it here. I tried to like color it in. Look, here it is. The but like first of all, the legs broke off because this model is kind of weak. This is by the, um, you know, uh, the uh, so you know the 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 the, mo the, the 3D model was designed by Via, so credit to her. But yeah. Um, also, I'm not 100% sure if this is still viable because someone said they tried to buy this and um, 
and like they said, it never came. So I don't know if that's a thing. I need to I need to figure that out. I've been slacking on that. Let me buy one right now and find out if if it gets shipped to me. Um. Uh, Job says, are you still in touch with Anstari? Yes, I am. In fact, Anstari was here in the stream earlier. Like earlier in the stream, uh, Anstari was chilling. Sketchy Penguin says, Bald Edge is compact. Oh, sweet. Also, he sent you an invitation to be a moderator. Did he? Sketchy Penguin says, I'm going to have to leave soon because I have soccer, but this has been an amazing stream. Thanks so much, Sketchy. Uh, thanks for being here. I should probably end the stream soon as well. Yak says, I love how Zach said the 3D model isn't the best. Credit to Via. <laughs> is that how I said it? No, I, like, let me clarify. I think the 3D model is amazing. I, I think this looks really cool. But what I meant is that, that, that it isn't the best is that like it was designed to be a um, 3D model for, you know, to use in the videos. So it's, it, that is the model I use in the videos. But, um, but... It's uh, it like it's not structurally sound because like the legs break off. That's what I meant by that. <laughs> Thanks for pointing that out so that I clarify. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, Via actually designed a better version that's gonna be more structurally sound and it's probably gonna cost less as well. Um, uh, Job says, does he have another YouTube channel? No, um, not that I know of anyway. I um, think he just like has his one channel and he just isn't posting to it because he's been super busy with schoolwork as far as I know. But um, Sketchy Penguin says, check your no Reddit notifications because Compex sent you an invitation to be a moderator for the PCG subreddit. On which account? Because like this account... Um... Wait, on this account, let's see. This isn't the one I... Like I made a PCG account... Wait, where's notifications? Talk predictions. I don't know. He might have sent it on the other account, which whose name I do not remember at the moment. Sketchy Penguin says also it might have expired. Yeah, that is quite possible. Well, um. That being said, well, well, shoot, we're up, guys, you guys, you guys, we're up to 278 minutes. Maybe we should think about thinking about ending the stream. <laughs> I am getting very tired of this. Uh, shoot, it is 727 at night. Look at that. 727 at night. Also, I feel like I need some new music. This is getting old. You know what's a good music for end of stream? Arpent. The PCG music. So yeah, you guys. Uh, this has been my stream. I am thinking of ending it in the near future. Does anyone have any last minute comments, questions, suggestions? By the way, here's... Yak says feel free to end it whenever. Thank you, Yak. I am super psyched about this new desk. I have a place to put my PCGs now. Job says, you and Starry Keiko KT gave me inspiration to make PCGs. That's so awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, Keiko KT is gone, unfortunately. I did make a video about her uh, ending her channel, and she actually commented on that, which is super cool. Um, so yeah, you can you can find my video about um, Keiko KT and Starry. Still hangs out, like, but I don't think he make, he's making videos right now. He might. He said he might at some point in the future. So hopefully he'll be back around. Um, but yeah. But yeah, the community's only growing. Like, more people are going to be around. And yeah. <laughs> Yak says, as long as there aren't any last-minute comments, that is. <laughs> there's always last-minute comments. You know it. Dev Y says, my cousin says, thank you for telling him that how he's a new person. Well, thank him for asking. Um, I, I, I seriously need to make a video at some point to explain that. Um, TCG Creator 115 says, can you make a PCG with attack 
mechanics using dice? Yeah, absolutely. Totally. 100%. Uh, people do. I mean, like, like I like I personally try not to make um, combat systems for my PCGs because every time I do it, it makes it harder to play. And I end up like when I when I'm actually playing it, I always end up feeling like, man, this game would be more fun without the combat system. Like there's something about PCGs that just, you know, you know, doesn't go great with combat systems. But there's no reason you can't do it. You totally can. And people have done it. So, yeah, if you if you have an idea for one that works, yeah, totally do it. Um, Sketchy Penguin says, Yes, I've got something for you to do real quick. Yeah, what is it? Let me know. So, yeah, um... TCG Creator 115, like, uh, do you make a lot of TCGs? What's, what's... What's, uh, what's the deal with that? Sketchy Penguin says, TCG Creator 115, I'm making a PCG with a dice rolling system called Techno Zombie Survival of the Fittest. Oh, interesting. It has a dice, die rolling system. That's super cool. Uh, TCG Creator says, okay, I will. Thanks. Sweet. Awesome. Looking forward to seeing what you come up with. Whatever you do, you should uh, post it up on the PCG shop. Um, yeah. Or on the, or like write about it on the wiki or what, you know, whatever you like to do. Yak says I added something of a combat system to, to the digital attacks in Zuvac, the trading card game. Oh, nice. TCG Creator 115 says cool. Yeah, so sweet. Um, Sketchy Penguin says go to the Reddit, and on the right of the screen is a thing that says user flare preview and click on it. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Job says imagine if you... Just saying, wait, another file to label. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> wait, another file to label, you guys. I think I'm done with labeling the files regardless. I did make quite a few of them. Check that out. Those are all my paper computer games. Ooh, that's a bunch of them. TCG Creator 115 says... Yes, I make TCG, but mainly I watch others like Chaos Galaxy and Epic Wars TCG. Nice. You know, just saying, um, Yak is making the first PCG TCG, which is called uh, Zuvac the Trading Card Game. TCG creator says, do you have any TCGs? I haven't made any. Per I personally haven't made any, but um, Yak Games does have one. Well, here, let me show it. Zuvac... Zuvac the TCG it's called here it is like here's Zuvac the TCG here's the card back Devil Eyes says take a break take it easy Zach yeah says I think it's time to end the stream for your own good never <laughs> never Job says I made one TCG that's awesome but yeah here's some uh... oh man I wish there was art up here to show some of it. Wait, wasn't there? Didn't I? Did, did that get removed? Huh. No, I guess it never did. There's a list of cards there though that used to be there. Um, but yeah. TCG Creator says, wow, cool, yeah. Um, yeah, so there's lots of, uh, like, I mean, the, the idea is, like, this is, like, a trading card game, but with PCG characters, and it's, like, sort of merges the PCG rules with, uh, TCG rules. Um, Sketchy Penguin says, now you can't end the stream, because Yak said you should. That is true, Yak. You, you should know better. <laughs> like, if everyone, if everyone, uh, did what they should do, there'd be chaos. Uh, Job says, do you know IPGS? I know of him. I've never met him or spoken to him. Um... I've seen his channel. He he's uh, pretty cool. He's really good at what he does. Like really, uh, like he's really charismatic. He really has fun making his games. So, uh, really strong channel. I can see why he like launched the whole paper games thing. Um, I will say I like I am not you know like coming out of the paper games community. I'm not like from the paper games community. Like my PCGs are sort of separate from that. We started like before all that. And then, like, after, you know, I, we've been playing PCGs for years, I discovered there was this thing called Paper Games on the Internet, and it's kind of similar. And so now the PCG and the Paper Game communities have been sort of starting to to merge. But, yeah, um, Yak says, 
You have to end the stream now because Sketchy said you can't. Oh, that is true. That is true. That is good logic right there. Um, Sketchy Penguin says, oh no. Man, I, TCG Creator 115 says, Epic Wars TCG said he was making a PCG. Wait, really? Where did he say that? Did he say that in a video? C can I can I can, can can I find that right now? Because if, uh, if wait, who's Epic Wars TCG? Um, is that like is that on YouTube? Let's find out. Epic Wars TCG. Yeah. Wow, check that out. One hundred and fifteen subscribers. Is there a particular video where he said he's making a PCG? Oh, he said it on Discord. Oh, awesome. Well, yeah, lo yo, like tell when he makes his PCG, tell him to make a video about it. And um, so that, you know, we can see it. Uh, this is super, like his, his art seems like pretty, wait, was that Zuvac? Wait, 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 wait. Oh no, it's from Chaos Galaxy. <laughs> that looks a bit like Zubak. Um, Job says I'm making a PCG called COVID-19. Oh no. Yeah, it's weird that not that more people haven't made games about the virus. TCG Creator 115 says he's a small TCG creator I really like. Okay, we'll do, sweet, yeah. Um, well, let's see some of his actual art. Homemade TCG set three. That is really cool. I like that art. Um, let's see. Now, this one's cool. Toten Wolf. Toten Wolf. That is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm surprised there hasn't been more overlap between the TCG and uh, PCG communities, but there's a lot of really cool TCG creators like uh, like this guy, Epic Wars TCG. So, um, yeah, super awesome. Um, 115 subscribers, nice. How long has he been doing this? Only 11 months. Wow, set one. Check that out very first video nice <laughs> that is really cool I like this guy TCG creator says he recently published his game wait his PCG you mean or his uh, trading card game uh, sketchy penguin says I just think TCG creators know about PCGs do they uh, uh, Job says, Zuvac says, Bebo Bob and stream Bebo Bape. <laughs> oh no. Okay, fine, 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 you guys. Yak says, Zach, you say that if everyone followed the rules, there'd be chaos. But the same logic could be applied to everyone not following the rules. Ah, ah, you've identified the paradox. <laughs> you know, very, very, very astute. Yak says, um, meaning that you should, in fact, send the stream. Yeah, but there'd still be chaos, Yak. There'd still be chaos. Sketchy Penguin says, go to Reddit, scroll down, and on the right, it says, use your flare preview. Oh, yeah, I was going to do that. I didn't do that. I'm sorry, Yak. Uh, Sketchy Penguin, I got distracted. TCG creator says, no, TCG on Game Crafter. I'll tell him he's got to make a PCG. All right. Well... No pressure or anything. Thanks, TCG Creator 115. Uh, but yeah, um, on the Reddit, um, what did Sketchy Penguin say? Scroll down, and on the right is a thing that says User Flare Preview. Wait, I saw that before. Where is it? Wait, what? What did I just do? Ah! User Flare. Wait, where? Where is it, Sketchy Penguin? Sketchy Penguin says, it meant that TC creators just don't know about PCGs. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Sketchy Penguin says, also, do you have any suggestions for more user flares? I don't know. 
What's a user flare? <laughs> and how do I find like community options? Where is it? I don't see it. Oh! Okay, well. I can't find this whole user flare preview thing. It's on the sidebar. I see filter by flare, r slash paper computer games rules, moderators. Is it in here? If you ever play Fortnite, my thing is blunt Mitchity 12. All right, duly noted. Oh, Epic Wars TCG says TCG creator told me to come here. Oh, hey, uh, welcome. Sorry to sorry to jump in. Like, uh, we were just talking about you because uh, yeah, we were we were observing your channel because uh, TCG creator was saying that you were saying you were gonna make a PCG. So yeah, I was saying that if you do make a PCG. You should, uh, I don't know, either make a video about it to show it's because, like, I'd like to see it, or uh, post it on the PCG shop, um, which, you know, is right over here. Anyone can post their PCGs up on the PCG shop. And, uh, yeah, yeah, you should do that. Um, Epic Wars TCG says, oh, cool, yeah, I can make one, definitely. Yeah, I mean, if you want to, like, no pressure for sure. Uh, but uh, yeah, that'd be awesome. I, I would love to see it. I, I think your art, by the way, on these on these uh, TCGs, I've never exp I've never seen it before today. Before uh, before uh, TCG creator um, mentioned it, but I think it's really cool. So yeah, I'd love. To, I would definitely be curious to see what kind of a PCG you would come up with. Um, this is really cool. I'm 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 a big fan. I I couldn't draw like this. So yeah, uh, super cool. Epic Wars TCG says, I heard about this from Sketchy Penguin. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, Sketchy Penguin's around. Thanks, TCG creator, for the shout out. Yeah, definitely. It's super cool. Um, but yeah. Um, wow, this just really inspired me. Awesome. Well, yeah, very curious to see what you come up with. That would be super awesome. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, Sketchy Penguin says, uh, below about community. Yeah, I'm supposed, this is on the PCG Reddit, I guess, that Sketchy Penguin is just kind of creating right now. Um, it's below about community or something. Like, is it on, here under community options? Whoa. Epic Wars TCG says, I've never made one, so I don't know how, but I'll think of something. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, if you, if, you, if you need a quick guide on how to make a PCG, I mean, like, I need to make a video specifically about that. But if you check out my channel, there's a video called, um, I mean, what are paper computer games? Let me show it right now. Like, it's this video right here. What are Paper Computer Games 2021 edition? Like, this video should give you a basic idea of what PCGs are. Epic Wars TCG says, okay, I'll check out that video. Thanks. No problem. Thank you. Um, Job says, you're cool. Thanks so much. Oh, to Epic Wars. <laughs> yes, definitely. Epic Wars is very cool, for sure. Um, all right, you guys. Um... I am thinking, you know, it's probably just about that time to end the stream. But thank you guys so much for joining. You guys are the best as always. Uh, have a great evening and PCG you later. Let's see ya. Thanks, Epic Wars TCG. Thanks, Yak. Thanks for coming, everyone. You guys are the best. Epic Wars says this was awesome. Yeah, same. Like, thanks. For Job says, tell Anstari I said hi. Will do. I mean, hey, uh, Ansari will probably be showing up in uh, future streams, so stop by. You can tell him yourself. Yak says, you are, in fact, so cool, Zach. Aw, thanks so much, Yak. You are, in fact, co uh, extremely cool as well. All of you are cool. You guys are the best. Thank you, guys. Have a great evening, and PCG you later.